basically. Uh, Dropship detected that the uh, the destroyer left. The Falcon Falcon class ship left. And we got. Uh... Oh, what were they called? We got orcs. enemies inbound. Yeah. Yeah, work. Well, killer cans. Killer cans. Like, yes. No, that's though. the word I was thinking of it. Yeah. Yeah, and we're down at squad mate. So this is gonna be a tough fight. If you guys want to fight it, yes. You do have the option to leave as well. Right. So Suddenly the melee kill cans grow wings and start flying after us. No, I don't do I, I don't think I've ever done anything crazy <laughs> like that. Unless there's a reason it does it. Like, oh, these aren't, these aren't, uh, killer cans. These are fucking demons, right? I mean, they made you think they're killer cans. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's something to do. Damn. I mean, you're in real trouble if they can do something like that. This quickly turned from a Death Watch campaign to just an Inquisitor campaign. Exactly. If we're fighting demons on the regular. <laughs> that explains why our Grey GM Knight. has the Grey Knight PFP. <laughs> I just like Grey Knights. <laughs> Is this ship about to take off, or your guys' ship? No, unless you yeah. order it to. It's. I mean, you guys are the only thing close to friends they know. I remember right, we were readying to be attacked, and we had them yeah. jump in on the weapons. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, you can also uh, opt in not to fight, or you can fly up and blast them all with that aircraft. It has all those weapons, like, like I think uh, Yelmug was suggesting. If I remember correctly, you guys were debating on what to do next, and you guys were uh, planning up going to look for survivors. On the, the wreckage in space? Yep. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> what are you guys planning to do? You guys gonna fight? Flee? Oh, I plan on fertilizing the forest with my body. <laughs> You're already doing that? You're doing that well? And I'm accomplishing my goal for the session. Excellent. How much XP do I get for being dead? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I already got that XP. You did. I, I say we leave because this mission is already scuffed. We're down, we're down a squad mate and uh, we're going to have trouble fighting these guys. Hold on, I remember seeing the stats for the Thunderhawk cannons a while ago. Let yep. me find them. Yep, they're on the uh, battle, right to battle. You could probably annihilate all of them. Yeah, we're not retreating at all. Yeah, but like which ones? Because we'll like, kill there's... them all and then go do our other job. Does the Thunderhawk have all those weapons listed or only some of them? You're inspecting the craft? Uh. Sure. No, oh, I, wait, I thought we I thought we already inspected the craft. Yeah, didn't we already inspected? Okay. Uh, that's right. You yeah, we did. I remember that. I remember now. Okay. Let's see. It would have the cannon, and it would have some uh, missiles on it. Let me go to the right to battle. Look up particularly how many missiles they would have. Watch. I 
to battle. And then, uh, the guards were asking your orders. Whoever's in charge of it, was it a dude? Yeah. My sire, what are your orders? <laughs> yeah. We have orcs incoming. Many of which are in giant machines. We're ill-equipped to fight such things. Oh, we're well-equipped to fight them. You might be, my lord, but we are not. <laughs> Well, you're not going to be here to fight. You'll be in the ship. Oh, thank the God Emperor. It's just a matter of decision if we want if we want all of us to go to the war barge and search for survivors. We. What would the rest of us be doing otherwise? We should probably retrieve what we can from the Antius body, but at the same time, priorities. So if we go well, search for these survivors right now, then sure. We got Antius we... gene seed. We can just strafe the area and blow up what remains so nothing else gets it. I think uh, I think we should take care of the kill cans first, right? Well, if we're going to get an Ancius body, we're going to have to deal with the Killicans. Yep. Or we can go to the War Barge. Go to the War Barge and um, <clears throat> search for survivors and go through the wreck. We might we might be able to get more uh, mem party members there. He says we can just come back later on as well. And then potentially retrieve what's left or destroy what's left. Yeah, aren't we gonna use the uh, Thunderhawk? Like the um, aren't the guards gonna use the Thunderhawk to attack the Killicans? They can. Yeah. yeah. They could do that while we're inside the Thunderhawk. Or they can do that Wait. while we're outside the Thunderhawk, and we can clean up after. Like they're the big guns, and then we're the. We come Here, in after. Okay. Hold up, hold, hold, hold up. Do you want to get shot? Guy? Do you want to get shot by a Thunderhawk? Because of a bad roll? Because no. I don't. Who, who, who has a jackpack? Me. What if you pick up the NTS uh, equipment and we try to avoid Gillikans? Unfortunately, my jetpack operates on fuel because it's a legendary, well, it's a crafted jetpack, so mm -hmm. I have five uses of it and currently, look, in total, and currently I have one use of it left. So I can only dash once, basically. My lords, we have received word that our long-range sensors are detecting another warp signature in space. The signature is rapidly approaching and it is imperative that we prepare for any potential hostile encounters. As a guardsman aboard this Thunderhawk, I have a bird's-eye view of the approaching threat. It is my duty to ensure the safety of the crew and the success of the mission. I have faith in the Death Watch and their ability to protect the Imperium from any dangers that may arise. I implore you, Death Watch, to make ready for battle and be on the lookout for any signs of danger. The Emperor watches over us and guides our aim. May the Emperor's will be done. Yeah, what he said! <laughs> may, may John Deathwatch finally defeat his enemies. Can we detect the uh, ship? Watch if the ship's type and who, who it's... Uh, okay. See what kind of ship that is? Let us tarry not, brothers. I believe we are experiencing analysis paralysis. I done. So, uh... <laughs> no, what type it is. You don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what type it is. Uh, I have two questions then. Last time when we fought a uh, killer can, it how far did it move? Because we uh, saw it move. about about six six meters before it died. Yeah, it, like six turned meters. around but once we, and then it died. Yeah, but we also we hit a, it with the two heaviest hitting things we could. Another thing is that we had an ambush uh, advantage. Yeah. Hit him in the so rear, here, and he got messed up. Because yeah, I can though... still, I can use my uh, heavy bolter to get go against them, but I think we probably want more firepower, more firepower than that. 
Yes, uh, because even uh, if you would, look, I still have a high uh, movement uh, speed, so without my jetpack still, so potentially I could outrun them and get the body if you needed to be done. Uh, but but yeah, I can stay as well and remain. Sire, what are your orders? Do you want me to hail the incoming ship? It could be our salvation. Or it could be our demise. Yeah. We need to we need to understand if it's a friend or foe. There's no point of being in this area. We can we can all go to the Thunderhawk and uh, be in the sky for now. Yeah, also to be uh a point. Uh, the killer cans don't have ranged weaponry. They have the sprayers, so far as we've seen, which which would basically... kill you. Yes, <laughs> which, but which utterly did melt you down. But they're l relatively close uh, quarters I, weapon. They, they are, yeah. So we can still just get on the gunship and just shoot them from afar. Yeah, it was worth your time. Yeah. All right, everyone, get into the Thunderhawk. We're gonna we're gonna leave this area. There's no point of being here and defend this area. Orders received, brother. I head for the Thunderhawk. Fuck, hold on. <clears throat> Understood. I could use secure channels to send comms. Or I can go radio silent and get us closer to the ship in orbit to get a visual. Captain. 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 Let's Captain go to radio. Fire. I'm sorry, Captain. Let's go radio silent for now. We just need to know what type of ship this is. Don't know why I'm calling you a captain. You'd be a squad leader, but not a captain. <clears throat> what? Well, I'm in leader, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I just Captain realized... Blew up in the barge. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized Yomug's profile picture. That's hilarious. Yeah, that's hilarious. I feel that's uh, how the idiot Space Marine uh, Guardsman that I'm playing uh, looks like. Right. <laughs> and, I need to see a full picture of this. Give me a sec. Right, and then, and, and then the Guardsman that's serious is... Uh... Is the one Thomas's profile pic is. Mm -hmm. Right. The proper guardsman and then the idiot guardsman. Yeah. The I best should make buddy cop duo you could ever ask for. Right. Yeah. Let me make let me make you a profile. Instead of uh, co opting the uh, the red corsair sheet. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Look in the resources. <laughs> resources. Uh oh. Oh hell yes. I checked the image. Nice, nice. <laughs> Starbred hates being summoned. There you go. You yes. now have a uh, guardsman. The best of pictures. <laughs> Where's the resources I, tab again? It's in the. the, Sorry. the so now you have the guardsman there. <laughs> <laughs> So feel free to upload that picture to him. Yep, doing it now. I'm gonna assume your mug is the idiot. Yes. Idiot. <laughs> Dude really likes that. Funny. I'm not expecting this kind of humor. Oh yeah, I mean, this kind of humor happens all the time. <laughs> I am, we're campaigns. all gonna die. Thanks, Sergeant Doofy, for being so informative. You deserve a promotion. <laughs> Yeah. 
idioto. <laughs> All right, I'm getting on the ship. So, uh, preparing the takeoff. I suggest you strap in and get ready. It can be a bumpy ride. Right. There's no seatbelts in here! <laughs> Brother, it's a good thing we have power armor so we don't bang our heads. Actually, I forgot I destroyed my helmet. Beams. Where's my helmet? Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, right. I think I'm the only on. one helmeted, right? Yep. Yeah. So, as you guys are boarding the craft, you see the giant orc army coming out of the woods. I'm just stopping at the ridge line here. I'm the ghost of Antius. The ghost of Antius. Boop. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> He's trying to be sneaky and get all the intel. Thanks, Antius. <laughs> but he is the true imposter. <laughs> So as you guys are boarding, you get into the craft, you, you guys uh, ascend, make your way into space. I ascend. Right. Mm -hmm. Burning through the sky. It's about night time. Or not night time, getting close to night. Dusk. And as you approach the, the craft in space... What was the name of your craft again there, Moff? Uh... Thunderhawk? Hail Mary? No, no, no. They're in a different group. They're, <laughs> they're, they're dead to you guys. Oh. Twilight's so, Shield, I believe. Huh? <clears throat> I believe it's Twilight's Shield. So, it it's a Tempest-class warship, having been... S Stationed on one prior, I think. I recognize this one. I'm trying to understand what the Tempest worship is. Is it just a frigate? It's a small class. Yeah, it's a small ship. It's uh, it's the Toilet Shield! We're saved! Enough, so, Moth, yeah. So, Moth, your captain informs you they're detecting a Thunderhawk and long range sensors. Or, not long range, uh, medium range sensors with a medium distance. Hail them. Let's hail them. Oh, he's on a different ship than you. He's playing a different character. Oh, who? Yelma? Yelma and Moth, yes. yeah. Oh. Yep. They made new characters. Gotcha. Yeah. Sorry, con I didn't realize context save, uh, changed, so... Yep, yep, yep. yep. Um, and this this is the guardsman in your Thunderhawk talking to you. Sire, we're being held. And Moth is where you come in. I'm, I'm talking to you, Death Watch Space Marines. We're being held. Right. Ah, uh, right. Uh, on screen. Oh, there's, I don't think there's a screen. It's just like a voice comm. It's, it's, it's yeah. just audio, sir. Oh. Just <laughs> answer the call. You're a tech Marine, right? <laughs> answer the call. They already did one. Skype call. <laughs> They do have uh, holographic displays on, like, their larger craft, like the Tempest would have one. 
But it's not like Star Trek. All right, Moth, you're up. Right, what would I say here? What would anyone say here? Well, he's an eight. You're, you're, okay, so your character is a, a throne agent sent by the. Yeah. The Inquisitor, so you can give them as much intel as you want, but you don't know who these people are, as far as you're aware. It's just a th random Thunderhawk in the sky. Right. I guess, uh, identify yourselves. This is the Domingo Cassier as the uh, Death Marine Squad. We're con we see you in the sky. We have been uh, strand stranded for a little while. <clears throat> it's been less than a day. A little while. Less than we've been stranded for for about. We've oh, uh, we've been stranded so far. Our worst barge has been destroyed. <clears throat> Karnov stands in the corner, gripping his sword. I can see your ship's been destroyed. I assume uh, you're the Death Watch kill team, then. Yes. So you're, yeah, you're. Moth, what you see on your sensor is that the, the war barge is extremely heavily damaged. Based on your experience, there's possibly some survivors in there. But it's not beyond repair, so it'd be something you mark and let, let the Imperium know to come get this thing. Good news for know. you then, Marines. Your ship's not destroyed. It's only heavily damaged. It can be salvaged. Emperor shows mercy this day. Hmm? And then, uh, Yelmug, what is your character again? Uh, I'm a space shark librarian. Okay. So you know the kind of the background, what the, the Inquisitor sent you guys to do? Mm -hmm. do, you want, do you want to do your PSYOPs thing? Uh, yeah, I was looking for what skill to that. I think it's science, 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 science. Is that, is that really how to spell? Right. Sciny science. Jesus, that's a horrible word. Right. It is. Right. So I'm going to use sciny science to uh, detect any psychic phenomenon in the area. Oh, don't, we just, don't we just call Granted, it psychic science? Psych yeah. science? When it's spelt signy science. Alright. It's called okay. psych psycho shit. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright. Any, any modifiers onto this? Uh plus twenty. Cool. And this is just a general area. Nope. <laughs> I mean, we are in the middle of space. Makes sense yeah, to me. Yeah, you know, mm, you know I'm not sensing anything, so it's not whatever it is. Not super, super massive at this distance between you and the war barge, <clears throat> or what's on the group that's t that you're interacting with. So you know, the group isn't like demonic. You know, the group isn't anything like that nature. Cool. I remain silent. Yep. Okay. So what's what's uh, Moth's character's name? He you don't told know you. that yet. Oh, we don't know. I was gonna dress him by name, but uh, uh, you, 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 you there. Uh, we'd like to know your name. The comm line's closed. Oh, yeah. she pretty she pretty much told you, fly into the bay. We'll be waiting. Right. Got it. Did you and they go your down there with a uh, full contingent of guards just in case they're right. so compromised. Is, yeah, so Mr. Steel would be on the crafts. And the rest of you guys would be on the crafts as well, except for Antius. Antius the only one that did not make it. And then, uh, Moth, did you ever make your character sheet and your token? Made a character sheet. I don't have a token though. What, where's your? What's the character's name? And I'll make you. Uh, Bresor Adelaine. Okay. 
do you do have a token. I'm seeing it right now. Do I? You do. You have like a woman. Oh, that's, right. That's I didn't have a one. good token, so I used one that I did have. That actually would work. All right, so um, there you go. There you are. And I'll give you. I thought that was the of... Sylvester token. No, he changed character. You must have missed it. There, I slapped down a new one that I had control over. Who's this lady moving around? Me. Mm. Oh. These don't have vision on it yet. Oh, uh, let me fix that. You're I blind. Have to approach our group and stand in the middle. Better now? I also don't yep, have Thank vision. you. Oh. Your character? Do you have a do you have a character sheet there uh, with yes. a token? I don't have okay. a token, but I got a sheet. What's your character's name again? <clears throat> I see. It. A a Eager lights. No. Uh, Eracleides. <laughs> Eracleides. Or Eracleides. I think it's Eracleides. I think it's Heracleides. You think? Aren't you the one who made the name? I rolled it on a generator. Oh. In the book. <laughs> nice. Damn. But I think it's pronounced Heracleides. I think if I threw an extra E in there somewhere, it would be Heracleides. That's like an Archimedes, Heracleides. Kind yeah, like yeah, Heracleides. I'm looking to see if anything that has that weapon, token-wise, in a second. Well, I mean, I just, there's not that much art for uh, Space Sharks, so I just kind of chose this one. I gotta see something. I got you, brother. But, you know, I am a librarian, so a librarian with a stick. Uh, you should have vision now. If not, let me know. I don't. You might want to... How about now? Negative. You might want to uh, zoom out. Maybe you're looking... Oh, I'm, the... I'm zoomed out all the way. He had, uh, oh, put, my... he had put my uh, picture in and uh, I had vision on that. Hey, there we go. Now I have vision. I fixed it. I have to select you. Update token. Save change. And then I gotta do the same thing with Moth. Same plate. Oh. Update token. Update changes. Alright. Do you see Moth? Do you see yep. your Cleides? Yeah. Cool. So we have a very big contingent of Marines flanking you guys. Well met. I'm still armed. I'm still holding my sword. Mm -hmm. I'm still tense. Librarian. Are they compromised? Well, now that I'm in their presence. Plus um, I would like to do a read order. Uh, read aura power over like each of them. And I'm going to do it fettered, so, you know, not, not crazy. Okay. Right. Um, <clears throat> uh, is it possible to resist that power without being a psyker? Kind of. It's not. No, there's not no like opposed it. check. I see. Um, I'm just reading your. I, I'm not like reading your mind or anything with this. I see. Um. Yeah. Oh, or I might. Uh, no. Uh, sustained. I can read a person's aura. The unconscious projection of his being. Uh, there's no opposed check to it. Um. Anyway, <clears throat> the results that I would get 
would be uh, superficial impressions about the target person. This includes the three strongest emotions that they are currently experiencing, uh, their race, whether or not uh, they have any psychic powers, and a rough idea of their state of mental and physical well-being. Uh, also, uh, I would know if any of them are untouchable. Because well, every... Mean? I actually, Honestly, even if I wasn't a psyker, I'd probably know if they were all untouchable. I would probably be vomiting in my helmet around them. Oh, you mean a, a blank? Yes. Oh. A blank? What's that? Uh, there are people who have no psychic presence whatsoever. Which, oh, yeah, uh, I which remember Everyone has a psychic kind of presence, weird. except blanks. They actually exert a negative impression in the warp and their immediate area, which makes people horribly uncomfortable to them because they're unnatural. And to psychers, it's a big no-no. Yeah. Yeah, it, it can... Depending on how powerful their uh, the untouchable is with their negative impression, they could actually their presence alone could harm a psyker. Wow. That's well, why the sisters of silence are one of the emperor's guardians, because they're all the, untouchables. And one of the four assassin temples is all about anti psychers by using blanks and magnifying their blank powers. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, from all of them, I would get their three strongest uh, emotions, plus whether anyone has psychic powers or not, plus the rough state of their mental and physical well-being. Okay, are you scanning anything else with your powers? Their equipment <clears throat> I mean, that's all it gives me. No, I mean, are you scanning anything else, like their equipment or anything that you're doing? Like, what kind of checks are you doing? Well, it's it's a power. No, I know that. <laughs> I I think he's asking if you want to do anything besides that power. Uh, I mean, sure, I can do the 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 science science, science check shit. again. <laughs> right. right, do your roll. Plus fifty. And uh, Moth, why he's doing this? What are you saying to the team? You see the uh, four guardsmen. Or Death Watch stepping off the craft. Uh, I'm not engaging them until I get the clear from the Psyker. Okay. So you four are just standing there in front of the shuttle, staring these guys down, essentially. Yes. But... What are the guns well, pointing at you? I got right, an 83 but... degree success. So, Yomug, you're able to... You're able to determine from my character, Neil Tyron, that my three biggest emotions are uh, intensity because I'm on edge by everything that's happened so far. Uh, and then I would also say sadness because we lost one of our uh, battle brothers. And also, um, I guess, a feeling of like unknown or impending doom because we don't know what's going to happen next. That's just from my character. That's my internal thoughts. So I'd be projecting that outward, I guess. Cool. So mental state, slightly, super slightly shaken. Yeah, pretty. You know, pretty for, for a space marine. Would yeah. that be for all the space marines? Slightly shaken. I'm. Or I'm just those, saying that's for me. Some who, there could have been some of you guys who just didn't give a shit that Kansi just blew his head up. Right. Well, I cared about my character cared about Ancius a lot, and well, I've watched well, him well, kill you, himself. Yeah. Uh, so, my biggest emotion at the moment is also intensity, but my second emotion would be, uh, how how like how far down can you look into the emotions? It's it's the it's just your strongest emotion, and you don't have to you don't have to go detailed with it with these uh, three emotions. It's just like anger, grief, you know, rage, like, you know, just that. Great. Uh, 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 how do I, how do I describe it as short in, in short, I guess? Uh, it's grief, but it's, 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 uh, it feels uh, like the third emotion would be familiarity, I guess, because that is, or like, <clears throat> what I, I don't know what exactly that emotion would be, but, uh, you get an impression that this is not the first time. Ah, like, okay. Jaded. That happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jaded. Jaded, I guess. Sure. Yeah. 
Uh, is there a better word? But like the the it's happened before, but something similar. The, it, like happened. like you're used to something like this happening before. Yeah. Uh, you know, we I were space marines. Used... Our brothers die all the time. Yeah. I wouldn't say used to, but I'm familiar with that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and the third emotion would be. Oh, I guess. Can that be uh, counted as three emotions? Or yeah, that, 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 that's sure. fine. Um, and, and physical did? well-being is good, I guess. If I'm undamaged and mental well-being is just a little bit shaken. Slightly shaken, I guess. Cool. And, and uh, yeah, dude, what's yours? Uh, the strongest motion right now will be relieved since we're no longer stuck on that that planet that we're on a, on a ship the second strongest emotion will be huge confusion and trying to process what what happened in the last few hours uh, third emotion is probably grief since you know, our captain Aencius has been uh, relieved of duty from life <laughs> The oh, most permanent your... of relief of duty. Yes. <laughs> was, that, was, that, was that your psychosoft test in ours as well? And see if they're tainted, right? Yeah, the, the sign of science was the uh, do I sense any psychic presence or phenomena in the area? And I got 8.3. With, uh, uh, okay, so you sense a slight something, an impression on their suits, their armor, uh, their guardsmen's weapons. Is there anything technological uh, uh, in that group? You kind of sense something big was near them from the warp. Okay, but not on them themselves, but just their equipment. Like an impression, yeah. Okay, but with the reading aura, I would know if any of them are psychic, which I guess would also include their guardsmen that they're accompanied with. None of them are psychic. Cool. <clears throat> uh, so... The giant hulking space shark that I am, I stand, you know, maybe half a head taller than all of you. Uh, Jeez. Space sharks are big. They're ridiculously tall. Like, they're larger than salamanders on average. And salamanders are like the largest space marines. Oh, damn. Um, so I, I turn to uh, the sister, and I simply... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, in full, I'm also helmed. Uh, they themselves are clean, but their equipment needs to be cleansed of psychic taint. Mm. Their armor, their weapons, all of it. The ship, too. That has the biggest impression. Oh, Jesus. Okay. And it might be best to just shove the Thunderhawk out. What does that mean? Isn't we the Thunderhawk, went to... huh? What's up? Even a Thunderhawk. <clears throat> well, we don't hear that. They are talking no. to themselves. Well, I mean, I turned to her and spoke. Oh, yeah, I'm, okay. I'm not helmeted. It... Yeah. I have no armor or anything on. Uh, uh, you wouldn't have a voice calm thing in your ear or anything like that? Uh, at the moment, no. What does okay, it mean? Cool. What does it mean to be cleansed in this uh, world or lore? Uh, a lot of like sen um, prayers, uh, uh, censors and stuff. A psychic might do something with it. I don't know, but it's mostly just a lot of uh, ritualistic cleansing rituals and prayers and crap, and like okay. proper maintenance of gear. So, Yo Mug, are you also telling us this? Or just, uh... I, <clears throat> I turned to face her and said it, but if y'all heard it, y'all heard it. Okay, right. well, my helmet is off, because I destroyed my helmet. Well, helmet doesn't affect what you hear or not in this no. situation. Are, are you, uh, okay. with your like powers, are you watching that ship? With the, that's like a really big impression on it. So the Thunderhawk itself has the impression, or...? Yeah, the whole yeah. ship. It lights up like big old aura. Yeah, so I said, we may want to uh, jettison the Thunderhawk and destroy it. It's tainted beyond measure. Oh, I see. yeah, that's what you, sen that's what you sense. So, 
And your character, uh, roll a logic check, I guess. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't train in logic. Can I get any bonus on this? Yeah, with your psychic stuff, plus 50. Nice. Just see if your character can deduce what's going to happen. <laughs> no, he cannot. And, and <laughs> we'd like to use the same well, Logic is untrained, so I have to do half of my intelligence with that nonsense. <laughs> Otherwise, and I would have gotten it. And since we were able to hear, uh, hear him say those things, I just nod and says, that makes a lot of sense. I turn to look at the ship and just stare at it for a, a moment or two, as Yuma's character says that it's tainted. I also uh, I also hear what uh, Yuma's character was saying, so I strip all my armor off and take all my weapons and throw them on the ground right. in front of me. And only the... Let's see. I'm going to... I think I can whisper this. Uh, I think it's like slash W or something. Yeah. <coughs> slash W space uh, character name and uh, space message. And that's that's you kind of hear very faintly. Cool. Um, that's my armor on the ground in front of me. Oh, oh that has a penis. So I just, <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> it's missing the helmet. <laughs> I don't think you can take your armor off that way. You have to go. No, to the it, it takes a while to take it. Oh off. shit! Yeah, yeah, I'm about to say there's no way for you to take it off. You are sealed in that thing. Like, hermetically sealed. Uh, I want to take this armor off. No, they they, they can cleanse it. They, they can cleanse all your armor without you taking it off. Yeah. Yeah, it's but we don't... Not but we bad. don't... But we won't feel cleanse. At least I won't. <laughs> I would like to signal to the guards from behind me to jettison the thinner hawk. Oh, I meant to do whisper. <laughs> Oops. Every time, Jesus. That is, the power clipboard can help you with that. Uh, I have to. And this is what you're uh, hearing very faintly. Mm hmm. As though it's in your box helmet. Does my sign of science now indicate that my shit's been tainted now, too? No. Do you want to check? See where what it is, where it's coming from? Yeah, do I need another sign of science on it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, on the phone um, going on. Any, any bonus on this? Plus 50. Uh, you know, whatever is happening, it is a uh, basically... A uh, warp, uh, uh, immaterial warp manifestation into reality. So it actually is. You are actually hearing that through your Voxcom. It's whatever it is is manipulating your Voxcom, and the air molecules around it boop boop talk to you. So it's actually there. It ain't crazy. And it ain't psychic. And are you also, I'm sure you're scanning that, focus honing in on that ship as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's using whatever it is. You can sense that it is a psychic ability being um, that's basically um, acting as a lightning rod for whatever is talking to you. Because whatever is talking to you is, it seems to be very distant. Cool. But but this thing is amplifying its range. Well, that's going on. I'll I I again I to the guardsmen behind me jettison this thunderhawk. Now, yeah, they can, they can fly. And I calm up to the captain. Captain, we're jettisoning the Thunderhawk. Fire upon it as soon as we're clear. Okay. As soon as you're clear, the captain gives the orders and lights it up with all guns. They eviscerate it. They're very well versed with uh, dealing with uh, psychic bullshit. 
just blow up the smithereens. Cool. And, and then I would just like to monitor everyone's equipped gear and stuff to see if that taint lessens. Uh, yeah. Another side chance. Plus 50 again? Plus 50 again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. You know what? Let me let me fate roll this. What did I roll? Oh, 96. Oh, 96. Damn. Oh, That's why I failed. God damn. Sorry, Emperor Damn. <laughs> there you go. Better. God, Emperor Damn. <laughs> so, three successes. So, do I see the taint lesson on them, or is it still as present as it was before? It's le it's lessening. Your what you're about to hear is very, very, very faint now. Hmm. It seems the Thunderhawk was a channel. With that channel destroyed, the taint on your gear shall lessen, but it should still be. Cleansed. R right. <laughs> and, uh, Moth, what are you doing this whole interaction? Uh, pretty much just watching the librarian work. Nodding in approval at the orders he's given people. Making sure they actually follow them. I, uh, I turn around and say, uh, Brothers, we should ditch our power armor as soon as possible. Or just cleanse it. Or cleanse it. But we should separate ourselves from the taint of our armor. I nod. Slow your weapons, too. Yeah, I already threw my weapons on the ground. I tried to take my armor off before realizing I couldn't. And then sheepishly, <laughs> uh... Not doing that. Are you attack party? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Like take their own armor off. Right. I'm not very Eric, smart. Yeah. <laughs> Eric Clarys, this whole time, as you guys are cleansing their weapons, you're hearing that thing murmur and basically give you various interesting insults. Oh. But it's just uh, fading further and further. It's, that's correct. As yeah. everything you cleanse, it's fading, fading, fading. Cool. I just ignore the voice and, you know, do what needs to be done to cleanse everything. At least we don't have to purify it, because that would mean burning it. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've stripped down to my skibbies. Is this good enough? <laughs> what do I do with this? I just glance at the guardsmen and then just watch back at the... the newly introduced space marine. Oh, good. So Resora, alive. this is the captain. We're getting comms from the war bars. A distress signal, it seems. <laughs> All right. Load up the ships. Let's go see who we can save. The mercenary. We, make, make, we need to make sure that we have a new, fresh pair of uh, helmets, too. I didn't, I, I didn't have a captain sheet available. So oh, I just okay. <laughs> Very well. But he would be a guardsman, too, I guess, or a naval guardsman, whatever you call those guys that are not Space Marines. Normal human. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Imperial Navy. Uh-huh. So you guys going into the craft that we're sending out? And, uh, Moth, you didn't really address the, the team now that they're not tainted no more. Um, yeah, didn't really get a chance to. You gotta just rush yeah, call immediately, ahead. you know? Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, you can address the team now. This would be something, seem like it'd be ample time to do so. All right, which one of you is in charge? I step forward. I step away. 
Did you accomplish your mission? No, sir. The war barge and our uh, dir dirty equipment stopped us from f completing our mission. Our original camp tech captain, Ancius, has perished during uh, while our equipment were talking to us. Mm, that is unfortunate. Yes, he took his own life in the name of the Emperor. He was very devout. And he shall be remembered as the Emperor's finest. Was your mission confidential? Classified and whatnot? I can't remember, uh, was it? Yes. So your, uh, your character, Moth, would know that the mission... Uh, uh, when it comes to your mission, is secondary, and if, if at all, actually almost meaningless at this point. Uh, finding the Inquisitor would be your utmost importance to find, if alive at all. Um, True, but there's no, uh, no yeah, asking uh, if I can help him out. No, your, char your character kind of knows what the mission is. It's essentially ah. to stop, stop the orcs from taking over a uh, weapons lab that was accomplished. Well, that was... Uh, well, but we would of... not know that. I would not know oh, that. I, I know you wouldn't. You wouldn't know that, but... Uh, <laughs> well, uh, our, they... we failed our primary objective, which was assassinate Grucka Gorefist. We never right. found him. No, uh, uh, well, the question was more like, uh, yes, the Inquisitor, I guess, could have told Moff's character that we were going to assassinate the Orc war boss, but was it clear to everyone else on board? that or like known to anyone else besides like, like Captain Malakius that we were going to do that. Yeah, it was known to the Death Watch Marines, but Moth's character is asking if our mission is classified or not. Guys... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just he's just uh you know, checking your intel what you guys know essentially. Cuz he would want to keep that weapons research a secret too vested interest in it. So the orc mission, his character would know, uh, wasn't all that important. And that he, they were going to send another kill team in there anyways. <laughs> because the previous, the previous kill team was uh, never heard from. So, oh, so since I only know about the orc Killing yeah, the uh, orc and the orc architecture infrastructure. I just say, from what I can tell, the mission was not classified. No. Uh, other than, yeah. Wasn't other than we were told specifically never to tell anybody about our true purpose. <laughs> yeah, we don't yeah. talk about that. So, in a way, it yeah, was not, classified. Uh, not classified. Okay. So not, it's not well, classified. the problem, the. Here's the problem. We don't know about that restricted zone. We didn't. We didn't know too much about it. We just know to stay away from it. That's not the yeah. primary you know, like, objective. Our orders to assassinate the uh, the work leader. We were told not to tell anyone about that part of the mission. Exactly. Oh, killing the orc. Yeah, killing, oh. killing the orc war bus. We were told not to tell anyone about that particular part of the mission. Yep. Gotcha. Then. So we're Did, vaguely yeah, yeah. indicating that we uh, were sent down to fight the orcs, but yes. not giving away anything else. All, all we can really say is, yes, our mission is classified. Hmm. But your character, Moth, being the a uh, agent throne of this Inquisitor, you would kind of know the full details of it. Right. So they would have passed your test. If that's what you're trying to do. Yeah, sure, totally. That's what I was doing. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't forget what was going on at all, no. No, no worries. <laughs> all right, then. Once your gear has been purged of this warp taint, we'll go back to your battle barge and see what we can salvage. Yes, sir. 
Why not? It takes you a couple hours to get your war gear uh, cleansed, all your troops, everything. Uh, and you guys make your way back to the hangar prior to depart. You guys wish to re uh, re equip anything, replenish, repair anything? Well, we yeah. don't really have requisition, or do we have requisition? You're gonna I, have requ I come back fully geared out in armor with a couple servers at my side and drop off two cases of uh, ammo ammunition. Bolter ammo. Also, um, we got the... Yep. We got the... Also, uh, we got this the ammunition tech. is in uh, sealed casings. Very odd looking. Mm. I identify the ammunition as Psycannon bolts. Specifically designed to fight psychers, demons, and warp entities. <clears throat> Use oh, generous. Sparing me. This is not an easy to get a hold of. Who's, who's like, going to take the ammunition? How many, how many of you can we carry? <laughs> well, presumably all of it. Oh, it's honestly, it's up to Boko how much anybody can grab. So, you had two cases of stuff. Uh, how much is in the case? Yeah, I, I have no idea how much would be in the case of that. A lot? <laughs> the exact amount that the I story I mean, bolts requires. or rounds are quite big, depending hmm. on how big a case is. Are you, are you able to carry it by hand? Were you carrying it by hand, or did you have your... your I had my two servitors... Guy? bring a case each. Okay. Hmm. I guess we could have about 2,000 rounds of the stuff. That seems more than accurate. Big two giant cases. So you have 2,000 bolt rounds of the stuff to divvy up between you guys. So there's uh, now three of us but uh, are uh, Muff and Neil Mug's characters joining? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What about all the like... Muff's characters? Yeah. What about me? Ab oh, yeah. you're uh, the apothecary. She's going to be an NPC ah. medic. Okay. It's 2,000 divided Whoa. by 5. We each get... Uh... I don't use range there. Right. Divided oh, by... Six. Yeah, 5. I can't do math. 100. 2,000 divided by 5 is 400. Yeah, so we each got 400 rounds. And what's this ammunition called? Psychic rounds or something? Psy cannon bolts. I'll uh, make it in a second. Again, I'm not going to be using it, as I don't have any ranged weaponry. So for regular bolt guns, that's 14.28 clips. That's 14 a clips? So for the like regular bolt bolter? Yeah. For the regular bolter, because each bolter can have 28 bullets for each clip. So that's 14 and some change uh, clips. <sighs> we could uh, make it a nice 16 clips. Everybody has 16 clips of sight bolt ammo. All right. We won't do point nonsense. Then we can do divide <laughs> a bullet in half. You, you get half a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> I will throw the bullets. <laughs> From you, it would fucking hurt. I think you'd kill someone with that. Even, like, chucking a bullet at somebody. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Uh, so you guys are all prepped. You do have some wreck. Because uh, the new craft gives you Would such. I be able to replenish my fuel on this barge? My jetpack? Yes, you can. Fuel. You can. Very oh. Well, I would do that. You see, Bree Sora also has a jetpack on. Oh. Looks and, almost like a pair of Yeah, wings. and I also allow you to guys to spend your XP. Yep, and you can oh. spend your XP as well. Oh, oh right. good. Oh, okay, so that's gonna give us, give us like thirty minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll that I'll go grab. <laughs> it's gonna be more than that. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. You, you can oh yeah. Do we... Well, you can do you can do that you can do that after this session, if you want. Yeah. But what if you needed that talent during the session? I yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, you can wait till after the session. That's fine. 
So, yeah, is don't that be a munchkins. suggestion or is that a order? <laughs> I'm sitting on 4.7k XP right now. Right. Oh, so, yep. Yeah, because essentially this is a new mission. Because the old mission is over. Uh, so, you guys got one major objective complete. So, is that what? 500 XP right there? Yeah, plus we already were able to recover the orc weapons as well, right? Like the uh, like stuff we? that we. Yeah, we got the black rock. Yeah. We got the yeah, black the rock, nets. we got the red rock, and we got the uh, nets. Yep. So that's another objective that we did. We did technically save some guardsmen, but not all of them. Yep. Uh, I mean, we did execute some. Yeah. But we don't tell that to others. Well, no, I mean, it wouldn't matter. I think his NC's character made the right decision at the time. <laughs> giving the giving the lore of 40k, yeah, it could be. <laughs> fuck that black magic. No, that that he what he that what he did was correct. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, they're gone. See, if I was thinking, I would have shot the pistol out of his hand to save his life. Uh, that that never happens. You just end up shooting him. Yeah. yeah, just shoot him in the head instead, just kill him. Instead. Yeah, the warp would <laughs> curve the bullet into his head. I would simply yeah. say, you can try. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't like the movies. You would have just, you would have just uh, shot him. Yeah, he would have been super dead. Yeah. And with that phrase, I would have uttered my own psychic uh, powers uh, that I clearly had, and either your own weapon would have blown up, or that bullet would have gone where I wanted it to, which was my own skull. Yeah. yeah, your guy guy had, like, uh, Domino's power, man. Just luck. Make a try, boom, kills itself. Like, Jesus. <laughs> well, poor orc in the tree. He, he did never saw what coming. Okay, so you guys can uh, rearm, re-equip. Uh, you have uh, 15 wreck from this ship. 15, okay. Um, do we also keep our wrecks from the previous ship? You mean, you mean like our equipment from your previous requisition yeah. points? Yeah, you oh. can. It was just 15 additional from our current equipment. To bring us oh, to Oh, no, that, that's has gone. It would be 15. Oh. I thought you meant like keep your equipment you have on you. Yes, you can keep the equipment on you. No, you can't keep the requisition. Because you're getting requisition from this new craft, which is not quite as nice as the war barge. So we lose our detox as well. I mean, you still had detox. it, though. Yeah. Yeah, you still had it. We still have it. Didn't Zeal made it. the detox. That's not a requisition. Yeah. Okay, that should be part of the uh, signature gear, then. Yeah. As long as also the best deal survives. Moth is no longer in control that character. A uh, question to the GM. Since it is stated, let me see. Um, where was it? Refueling the jump pack requires a specialized equipment and materials. Yeah. So, yeah, I can refuel on more barges and stuff, but can our tech marine, once we're in a safe location and we have enough downtime, refuel my jetpack? If he carries the, the supplies with him, yes. Considering he's the one that built it, I'd hope so. Yep. Uh, what kind of supplies? Is it like the fuel? <clears throat> yeah, the jump fuel. So you had to carry tanks of fuel with them. Okay. Yeah, I, I can, can do that. Position no, he can somewhere. carry like as, uh, as much as you can hold. He can carry about that much on him. That gives you an additional three charges, possibly. Because he can't just craft it out of thin air, I imagine. Oh, how much free round, free now did we get from previous mission? We well, did we have, got one uh, sec. We got what two secondary objectives? Yep, we did have the, the oath. Didn't we have the oath of, of glory, as well? I think so. But we did fail the mission. Does that affect that? I don't remember. You did not fail the mission. Okay, did not fail the mission. The mission has changed, so. Mission has changed, so mission complete on that on the orcs. Oh. I was about to ask if I could do something about said mission. 
What? You can well, if you want to. During the during the hour it took me to come back with the ammunition, I would have went to the bridge and had them scan for the weapons facility. Oh, it's a smoking crater. Yeah, they did. They already told. Yeah, you. I mean, their yeah. character didn't tell you that. You're able to. You're able to. The captain shows you. Uh, it's a smoking crater, wherever it was. You know, generally where the area was at, you see a smoking crater. So your character can deduce. Uh, your inquisitor took care of it. Would I know if there's any other reason this planet is still around then, aside from generalized resources? Uh, the resources are extremely valuable to the Empire, uh, but you can send in another team to deal with, with the orcs. Because Grucka Gorfist, um, though a nuisance, can be dealt with with uh, more punishment squads. Hmm. So how much uh, renown are we racking up from that last mission? See, yeah. I don't want to give you too much, and I don't want to give you too little. How much did I give you guys last time? We have eight. We get we have eight, and that's from just the one a, mission. Yeah. Okay, I'll yeah. give you I'll give you uh six renown for this one. All right. So six total renown is, for basically uh, not doing anything. Fourteen. Nice. Well, I mean, we kind of went through quite a bit. Yeah, we yeah. did. Primary mission to secondary mission, uh, one of them, then second and secondary mission. So okay, we retrieved equipment. We saved some lives. I guess. Does that count? The saving lives? I don't remember. Yep. It does. Yep. So, that's four. Civvies. And, and plus one for the awful glory for each objective. So, mm. for the major one, that's going to be three in total. Because, like, a primary one gives us two. Right That'd be seven. That'd be seven, then. And the bonus two. Wait, hold on. Two, four... Yeah, it is seven. Yeah. Yeah. So total, our total should be 15. fifteen. Yep. Sweet. What other special ammunition do we have on this ship? Since this ship is uh, less nice. You're asking what? Uh, it goes up to rare, rare equipment. I think it's rare. You'd have acquisition too. The special issue ammunition. Anything that yeah, and if you look at the charts, it'll say rare, very rare, ultra, uh, you need whatever. You have anything up to rare. Okay. It just simplifies things. So anything up to rare, you can have acquisition too. And uh, Moth, to answer your question, uh, you do know Gurkha Gorfist probably does need to be eliminated, so you could possibly generate a mission to go and finish the job and kill him. My plan was a little more extreme than that. <laughs> oh, exterminize? No, no, no. This no, 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 no. Here. What? No. I was just going to fire a couple rounds down in the general area where he's known to be. Oh. That should kill quite a few orcs, if not most of them. Uh... So you know there's a mining facility generally where he's at and then you're giving uh, general orders not to bombard the planet if at all possible. P plus the, the governor wouldn't take kindly to his planet being bombarded. Right, okay, so that's the reason why I wouldn't want to do that. Right. You could, and you're, you're free to because you have greater power. No, no. Over... It's, if there's a reason not to do it, then I was not going to do it. Yeah, yeah. They need that... That's a pretty good reason not to do it. Right, so Grucka Gorfitz overran the facility. Um, possibly want that back, so you can come back to this at a later mission if you guys choose to. But the bigger mission is the uh, whatever just happened to y'all. What you were sent for to investigate. <clears throat> When you guys are ready, we can head head to the uh, the other ship. Uh, yes, one moment. I may suggest people get mag boots for this. I, I think we already have mag boots, don't we? No. No. Uh, Asardi's 
uh, armor does not come with mag boots, but you can get them upgraded with mag boots. It's only three requisition. I'm gonna do that. Yes, they're very useful in this particular circumstance. I don't really have anything to requisition, so I'll just pull my remaining 12 requisition points to whoever needs them. So what's our next mission going to be, or do we not know yet? Uh, currently, uh, you know, as you gotta go to board the ship. Okay. Investigation. Our, our, uh, war barge. Yeah. Yeah, mission unknown. All right. And because Moth's character hasn't divulged any information on what he's supposed, to, what his mission is, and he can keep it that way, or he can uh, let the team know. It's up to his discretion as a throne agent. Oh, I can't believe you guys forgot to pick up the most important equipment imaginable for my corpse. What? The prono. All right. Yeah. No watch. The captain gave us his chrono. The captain's <laughs> chrono, yeah. And Wait. you let it fester on that planet with Anseus's corpse. Can't What's a chrono? It's a it's a watch. watch. It's a oh. Watch. But it costs one requisition point. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, so you're joking. <laughs> I thought Am you I joking? Joking? It's serious. one requisition point. I so thought you were... just covers her left sleeve real quick. <laughs> Ericleides also covers his left sleeve. His left power armor. I I will spend that one position point to give the chrono to whoever needs it, sure. But is no, it like that, a Rolex? Kind of, whatever, sure, yes. It's more like a military grade doesn't break, kind of watch it's crappy but it works ah uh, okay my skiers more atomic calculations oh cool so space marines actually have it built into their armor well that's good <laughs> well we, we didn't know that at the time so wait so this whole time we didn't need the chrono <laughs> yeah we just automatically have one built into it but it's still an equipment that you can acquire What's a heads-up display? Who knows? Uh, well, oh, no one knows. After all, on. everyone threw their helmets away. Yeah. I have it, still. <laughs> Take Marine, well, investigate. Oh, yeah, I, I want to requisition a new helmet. <laughs> oh, it is like a standard power armor thing. Yeah, you, you know, you, any any helmet you guys lost, you can get a new one. Yep, I do yeah. that. With, with rat or free. Should do we have a Startis power helmets? Yep, you would, because you have a Startis on your ship, aka that ah, giant right. librarian space marine, and the right, other one. I forgot ones. he's not the only one. Right, so you would have all that stuff. You are part of the Inquisitor's uh, force, right? Mm -hmm. But would they have an assortment? I hear you, babe. Armors? Hold up. Uh oh. oh. I have used nine requisition points. I'm gonna let anyone else use my remaining six. 
sure. I'm going to put that in chat. And you can have my one. <laughs> and my sword. I'm also going to pitch in my 12. Because I'm happy with the gear that I have. Well, heck, Why that means you whoever upgraded? has uh, some good bolters or is good with a bolter should pick up some uh, Kraken rounds or some Hellfire rounds. Yeah. I vote Dude gets those because he's got the heavy bolter. Oh, right. I forgot to mention. Brisora's got two pistols on her hips and mm -hmm. two bolters on her back. Okay. <laughs> two two full bolters, I might add. Yeah, but is it a big iron on your hip? Uh, you would know those are Inferno pistols. Those are Inferno nice. pistols. Uh, so, okay, you said faux bo bolters? Or what kind of bolters are they? Hold on. Full, sorry, um... They're they're not like pit bolt pistols. They're actual uh, bolter rifles. Bolter rifles on her back. Yep. Okay. But Godwin Deus Star these bolter rifles. Sorry, bolters. Godwin Deus Storm bolters. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I just read the Death Watch Suspenser. What? The Death Watch Suspenser is essentially a suppressor for heavy weapons. Okay. Ooh. I think. Well, there's a silence. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Um, the Suspensers oh. reduce the weapons by half. That makes allowing not to the brace. As well yeah. as I can fire, use that fire. Uh, I can fire the weapon using a half action, so full action. Mm. Uh, <laughs> but I have to be respected. I, I have to be respected, though. Um, I mean, that would be pretty 20... good. It, it allow you to aim and fire, or fire and move. Right. Yeah. Coupled with my um, motion predictor. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, what were we talking about? Sorry. Death I mean, Wish if it's a normal weapon, if it's a normal weapon, it's just requisitioning shit. Yeah. Uh, we posted our uh, connection to fire. We posted our remaining requisitions on the chat. Sweet. Thirty-one requisition. I guess I'll take an extra tank of flame refuel, but that doesn't cost any requisition. Did you at least get your fuel for your chopper? Uh, I did refuel. Uh, yeah, and I'm and also I, carrying extra fuel for you. I have two left over from the previous time I acquired. Can I acquire some more fuel? I have... I have three tanks of it, so I can give oh, you like, those. So, so yeah, like, each tank is one use, essentially, right? Yeah, I believe so. So, yeah. yeah. 
so I've I've got uh, three three tanks. I'll just give you I, mine. All right. So I have plus five in total. Yep. Got it. Thanks. I still have the two Kraken missiles on me, and if if need be, someone can get the. I, we don't need a missile launcher actually. Right, let's think about what we might actually encounter on the ships that we are actually prepared. Well, um, since our equipment got tainted, there's going to be some psych stuff going on. No, because the we destroyed the the central amplifier, whatever, for that taint, which was the uh, Thunderhawk, and then it slowly went away, so we shouldn't have to deal with that. That was essentially an antenna tower, not yes. the generator. Yes. Right, so yeah, and the and the whoever is using that uh, psych sig signal tower, if we will, that means they're that, uh, and then um, they say they were distant. That person was distant. They could still be in the war barge. They could be. They could still. They could be in the uh, ship that left left the planet, warped they out. They could also be on the planet. We don't know. Right. So, I'm just saying there's. Could be a possibility of psych stuff <clears throat> on the warp yes. bars. Yeah. And well, the warp of stuff. Crazed people. It's, it also, I think it's also likely because our equipment uh, got tainted on the warp bars. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make an assumption here, or that is my assumption. Should we perform any rituals then? To you did make the, the assumption there. Can can we perform any rituals to ensure that our gear won't be tainted or like less uh, tainted? I believe you can bless weapons, but that takes a long time. We have time. No. Time we only have like what? You don't thirty have minutes days. to an hour? Oh, days. Okay. If we're yeah. Days, then, yeah. Yeah. I think blessing takes a few days, and sanctification takes a bunch of uh, high priests months. But uh, no, a librarian can do a right of sanctioning. Yeah, but how yeah. long does that take? Let me look it up. All right. Oh, yeah, we can also spend skill skill points right now. Skill spend points. our experience. Uh, after this session, yes. After oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, uh, we're under his wedding at this point, so I'm like, the, the GM has spoken. Yes, sir. Yeah, I've spoken. You die. <laughs> oh no. Is that someone's cat scratching in the background? What is that? Sounds like a scroll wheel. That oh. Oh, that's me. I did not know my microphone microphone's that sensitive. <laughs> yeah, every time you talk you're blowing our eardrums out a little bit. Hell yeah. Might want to turn your gain down. Oh wait, no, uh right distinction, I think it's just uh when you uh, peril on the uh, the chart, it's always uh, this one thing. Peril on the chart, my chart. Yeah, when you do when you do a psychic power, uh, if you perform the right of sanctioning, you can basically say, "Hey, everything in this range is always anything that's not uh, a peril of the warp on the psychic phenomenon roll. It's always going to be one result, no matter what." Okay, so that's great for you. Yeah. But it's not. It doesn't cleanse anything. You can prepare for it in advance. You might be using your psychic powers. Right, but it's also you know 400 XP. Oh. Oh wow. Okay. Like I could get it, but I enjoy rolling in a chart of crazy shit that happens. Yeah. It's Good luck. Fun. Can't enjoy wait crazy shit. That's heresy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't wait for him to summon a demon and then we'll fucking annihilate yep. all of us. It is a 10% chance. 
isn't it like on a hundred? After roll? it's a twenty five percent chance to have to roll on the super crazy shit table, and then it's a ten percent chance I summon a demon. Oh. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> Dude, the crazy shit is so much fun. <laughs> oh, yes. I love it. Everybody hovers fifty feet in the air, fifty meters into the air, and then plummet. <laughs> Uh, Unless we have mag boots and we turn them on and then stick to the ceiling. Or turn them on and don't fly up into the air. Oh. You'd have to know it was coming first, though, so. How do I sound? Well, we're going into a ship that's been half blown up. Just not having mag boots turned on at all times would be a little silly. Yeah, dude, uh, go ahead and say the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. I don't think I remember that. I'm going to remember that sentence while saying it. <laughs> well, you sound, uh, you, your mic sounds a little bit quieter now, but it's a much more reasonable volume than it was before. It sounds the same for me. It's like, it just sounds fine on my end. Um, hmm. I also have my bass jacked way up on everything, and you can hear that in the recordings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I turned down the gain, the gain by five ten. Yeah, it's good now. Oh wait, no, you were like at eighty five percent on this group, not hundred. Okay, say something. Hi, how yeah, are it you? Is, it is quite loud, but it's not very loud. It's good. Hmm. It's good. Okay. <clears throat> I'm looking at the tools we can get from the page 174. Maybe hmm. There's also the rights of battle on page 144 for useful stuff. AFK for a minute. How much requisition points do we get? In total, 31. Oh. No, I mean, like, individually. 15. Oh, 15. Okay. Cool, cool. Dant case. I will gladly take one point from our pool. Mm -hmm. So remove remove my point and then one okay. more. Okay. You can get a psi focus, which gives you a plus ten on your invocation skill tests. My staff. Is is a uh, better side focus that gives me plus fifteen on that check. Ah, does it not add up? No, you can only have one side focus. Okay. Yeah, that would be as if I were using like the the uh, force sword instead of the force staff. I'm back. Okay. Okay. Welcome back. Uh, what if we also get, let me see, where is it? Magnoculars, because they can give heat sources, cal calculate target location positioning, and take pick captures of view for later analysis. It's on page 175. Considering we're going to be in space, it's going to be dark. Uh, it's going to be debris everywhere. We don't know where people are. That might be useful. All righty. Yeah, I've got uh, the auto sense goggles, which gives plus 20 vision perception in dark or uh, near dark uh, situations. 
Where's that? Uh, that is in the Rites of Battle book. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, page 144. 144. I see. It also gives a plus 20 to ballistics tests when spotting for an artillery strike. A little less useful in space, but the plus 20 for uh, night or dark vision is, uh, is pretty nice. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a heat detector, though. No, but you can get some uh, something like that for your gun. <laughs> I don't use guns. <laughs> the only two guns I have are my left and my righty. <laughs> Thine arm is the scourge of the impure. Yeah. That's okay. I also don't use guns. I use my glowy stick that explodes things. Stick is a mightier than a gun. And occasionally summons demons. Well, hopefully never summons demons. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, I, if I summon demons, I'm doing something really wrong. Or really right. What was that chapter that, like, tr uh, tries to get possessed and then tries to expel the demon from themselves? I forgot. Uh, the word bearers? No, 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 no. It's a loyalist chapter. They're like, they summon the demons and then it's like a test kind of, that they have. And they, they summon demons, they get possessed by them, and then try to expel them from themselves. And, like, prove that they... I think it's called the Invokers or something. Let me see. You know, that that, so, that sounds familiar, but I can't remember mm. the name. So it's like a rite of passage that they do kind that? Kind of like that, yeah. Yeah. Basically, once you do it, then you become an actual brother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Before right then, you're still a scout. Damn. Cool. I'm gonna go grab a drink. I'll be right back. Mm hmm. All right, let's do this. Lyra Jenkins. Jenkins. A good one. Holdy but giddy. Well, at least I have chicken. God damn it, Lyra. <laughs> well, my character is ready to go. Uh, yeah, I think I'll also get the... Uh, what's their name? Magnoculars, so you can see and detect heat heat sources. So i get that. That's gonna be... Let's see... 3 reposition. So, minus 3 reposition from that. Hopeful. I still have, like, the scanner thing from last time, too. Oh, you have that from last time? Cool. Yeah. 
so I can use uh, tech use to see stuff around us. Oh, you have to cartograph. The, uh, yeah, I have the cartograph, which is plus 10 navigation. Then the auspect scanner, which is uh, plus 20 awareness and making tech use test. Mm -hmm. The cartograph would be really useful for a blown out wreck of a ship. Yeah. Wait, I might have been bamboozled. It says magnoculars, these are powerful vision aids, blah, 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 blah. more advanced high quality magnoculars can give heat. They, they can detect heat sources, so I guess regular ones can't. They so what you bought was those binoculars with the the red lenses, and you're like, oh, they have <laughs> It's night vision, guys! <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I guess I will get the auto sense goggles then. Sure. That's gonna be minus seven from the pool. additional minus seven. Yeah, I mean we only have fifteen requisition points between each of us, so this ship clearly doesn't have the more advanced mag magnoculars. They only have like the two dollar ones that you get at a tourist shop. Right. One dollar store. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I'm ready. Yep, same. I'm ready. Okay. You guys make your way to the craft. You guys are heading out to the war barge. Go ahead and... um. You guys scanning for anything? When you guys get over there? You guys have the yeah. war barge that the Warhawks do it all. Do we have time to take an oath? Yeah, we have plenty of time. Take an oath. Which oath should we take then? What's our what objective? Are? Unknown. Investigate. Uh, investigate war barge is your objective apparently, because there's a distress signal. So that's the mission. Investigate war barge. Find the source of the distress signal. Onward, brothers, to that distress signal. Uh, we can get the oath to the Emperor so that we can have bonus in our willpower tests if we ever get mingled with some warp shenanigans, I guess. Yeah, let's do yeah. that. So, which one? Oath to the Emperor. And who are the ones who can be Tactical the leaders Marine. in that? Librarian, apothecary. Cool. So tat skills can do it. Cool. Yes. But you're a librarian, aren't you? You could take. The yeah, cash. but I don't want to have my leader die just to become the leader again. <laughs> oh yeah, this one, this one seems like a good leader. Let's make him new leader. Uh, it's true. That make that, that make not that that doesn't make sense in the story. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So plus ten to willpower tests. That's so. amazing. And fire for effect, regroup, and strong point are the squad modes. Mm hmm. Which are. Well, they did that. I guess I'm going to. Uh... Trigger one of my uh, special abilities, I guess. What's Which that? One? It's a talent called Test of Faith. It allows me to use a an Emperor's Wrath Faith talent without actually spending a Fate point to do it. What is the once Emperor's Wrath? Uh, once per encounter. Well, there's a bunch of different ones, but the one I'm triggering this time is called The Passion. Okay. The Passion of the Emperor. Ooh la la. It was a video of a very, very, uh, very welcome. Uh, it had had high uh, high reviews. Uh, 
amongst all the core worlds. Uh, it is, uh, after all, a sanctioned uh, movie representing, you know, the Emperor himself. Or more specifically, those around him, because any video about the Emperor uh, is heresy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There you go, I found them. They're called the Exorcists. It's, uh, it's pretty on the nose, that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I can't get screenshotting to work. So essentially, it uh, it gives everybody that can see me up to my fellowship bonus, which is uh, five. Uh, unnatural agility times two. Un for a... Doesn't that just increase the agility bonus? Yeah, it, it doubles your agility bonus. Yeah. Not we... bad. So uh, it just makes us faster, because I don't know what else would use the agility bonus. Initiative rolls, dodge checks, parry checks. True, true. Parry oh, checks uses what? It also do allows dodge and you, parries uh, use the bonus? I thought it was just a score. It adds plus 10 to dodge and parry tests, as well okay. as allowing you to roll two dice and choose the highest to determine your initiative. Ooh, Jesus nice. Christ. That's a, that's a good ability. It lasts. Um, the duration of all these is really weird. It's this the weird thing about all of these, unfortunately. It says mm -hmm. they last for an encounter or combat, DM's choice. Whatever an encounter is. So, like, the mission would kind of be an encounter. Yeah. It, it's one of those vague things. Is the entire session the encounter? Is just the mission the encounter? Is... Probably the, the combat. Anything. Well, there's combat and then the encounter. Hmm. So I strange. think the encounter would be like that specific sub scenario. So like you know, investigating the Hulk might be the encounter, uh, and it might be comprised of multiple combats. But if we were to leave the Hulk or some other story element, like hey, this is clearly a new chapter point kind of a thing, then that would be a new encounter. Hmm. So think of it more like. Um, Episodic scenes, I guess. Like scenes in a in a show. Yeah. Whatever the overarching scene is would be the encounter, but each individual shot would be like a combat. Okay, so we're off. Yeah. Yeah, we can go. Um, Who, who's our squad leader for this? Dude? Yeah. Dude, it's probably dude. Probably dude. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you guys, okay. make, you guys make. I, I could also be squad leader because I get not bonus if, to command tests. Not if we want uh, to do the Oath of the Emperor. Yeah, we can't. Uh, true. Because only a tactical Is... librarian or apothecary. Oh can be uh, a squad leader to have the Oath of the Emperor. Yeah, it would be dude then. Alright. Also, the dude. people that's comp accompanying us with uh, Moth and Yoma, their characters, aren't they higher ranking than us? Yeah. Yeah, but if I'm your squad lead, you get nothing. Gotcha. Okay. So you'd <laughs> still, you're still squad leader of your squad. So they, uh, Yelma and Moth will not get your bonus. Uh, aren't I a desk watch, Space Marine? Yeah, you would get the bonus. So then I would get a, I would get the bonus because I'd be part of that squad now at this point. That, that, that's correct. M Moth right. is, uh, he's actually an Inquisitor character, so he would not get the bonus. He's a, he's permanently in solo mode. Yeah, I see. I see. Yep. Okay. Then I guess because... I, I guess I'm the leader then. Yep. Because the rest of the librarians are on your ship, their moth are protecting your ship from any taint from the war barge or whatever. That's what they're going to spend their time doing. And locating that other ship. Gotcha. 
so we would now that we have a new leader we would need to roll for cohesion and stuff like that right to enter squad mode ah yeah. right so to start um cohesion cohesion I think you just uh, be in it from the beginning of the mission. Yeah, yeah, you, you can start in uh, you can start in squad mode, but we get a number of cohesion points that the squad leader needs to keep track of. Um, based on some stuff. So if I can find it. Because uh, it's your fellowship bonus of the squad leader itself. Uh, plus I think other, oh, uh, there's some other bonuses. It'd be great if they, you know, made it. Oh, here we go. We're not rank four. Do you have the command skill? Uh, I, I should, yeah, I should be. I should have it. Uh, let's see. I think as a tactical Marine, we start with the command skill. Well, no, I was yeah. an old Marine, so I started with the command skill because I was an old Marine subchapter. So you might not have the command skill trained. Uh, I think it's according to this, I think I have the command skill trained. It's checked mark to be there, but I don't have a record. I think, so. I think that's a technical marine thing. I remember reading that. Yeah, I think so. I'm, I'm double checking right now. Uh, they do have it trained as a skill, yes. So tactical marines do have the command skill trained. Cool. So it's basically going to be your fellowship bonus, um, whatever that is, plus one for having the uh, command skill trained. I don't know if you've got the it's trained to plus ten. Uh, it's right now. It's just I don't have it trained. Uh, well, okay, I got the command. Well, it should be trained. Tra yeah, command should be trained. It is. Okay, uh, so it's whatever your fellowship bonus plus one is our cohesion score at the moment. Fellowship Ansi bonus, just that had the... a... That's the, the tens digit of your fellowship score. Okay, so then we have five. All right. The only reason why Ansius was so high is because he had, like, I think, command skill plus ten plus he was a... Uh, Ultramarine sub thing as armor gave bonuses and he had 12 other bonuses. Yeah, he was super good. Super duper good. But then he killed suicide because the more. Well, then he killed himself. He... Yeah, he heard a noise and he's like, oh, better kill myself. He, he heard a noise <laughs> in his head after he removed the thing that he thought was speaking to him. Yeah, but you're like, and he continued no. speaking to him in his head. Uh, not and, in his is, head. and with like a five or six degree success willpower check, couldn't repress it. Right, because that's, that's a what... something's possessing me. I can't stop it. I die. Right. I mean, but I you're really like right now knows it wasn't a possessing thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it was something psychic, but yeah, I think it was. It's probably yes. the right way. <clears throat> yes and no. Anyways. Yes and no. His library uh, deduced it was generating uh, words out of thin air. This is what it's doing. Does that make sense? So it's now, like a disembodied voice. It's physically there, right? And it's directed. So that's what his Ansi's character heard. And then he's like, oh, I'm possessed. Boom. But it makes sense, though, because you would think you're possessed, wouldn't you? Yeah. 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 The character would think he's possessed. Oh, shit. He has no idea. Your librarian be like, eh, I know what that is. I ain't going to kill myself. <laughs> so we well, well, had no many. librarian, so. Yep. Uh, well, we did, eyes. but both of them died. Five, I believe. Yeah. Yep. Shit. Go ahead, Dan. No, 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 I was just asking Moff how many people he he can target with the passion ability he has, and he said five. Oh, nice. Okay. You guys are making your way to the war barge. Yeah. Uh, your Okay, uh, your Thunderhawk guy says he's found a place to land. Uh, there's an airlock you guys can get to. The, the war barge is pretty, pretty straight. You guys doing any scans before you land on this thing? Because it's a stress signal. They tell uh, you it's probably. Yep. Yeah. 
Yep. Yeah, we do it. We run a general scam. <clears throat> I'm doing a tech use check to scan my uh, to scan the area with my Auspex scanner. What does that do? It's a uh, plus twenty awareness when making tech use test for awareness. Are you trying to kind of see through things like like the ship or anything? Yeah. Or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so... Uh, any modifier on that? Uh, plus 20. Alright. So I believe that's 40 total. Here we go. Uh, your scanners definitely pick up, like, uh... Some, some life signatures about... Hold up. Let me count them. Let's see, between, between, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine signatures, life signatures aboard. Yeah, the rest of the ship is uh, pretty quiet. Brothers, I'm picking up a uh, life signature, nine of them, in fact. I believe we should investigate, but be on your guard. We have libra uh, librarians with us, right? Yep. Yes. One. Librarian, can you detect those life signatures? See if they're tainted, or is it too far for me? Uh, too far at this moment. I look at a can. Science oh, fuck. science roll. Yeah, I wonder if your side science. What's the range of your side science? Um, yeah, I gotta find the skill again. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just curious. Like, if it's uh, decent. You can range. detect pretty far with it, depending okay. on your degrees of success. It can go out far. All right, then go ahead and roll it. Let's not worry about it. Uh, any bonus or whatnot? Uh, plus 10. Would this get... Uh, nope. Your character can't discern if they're bad, good, or indifferent. But you are able to verify there are nine auras on board. Yes, I do that. <clears throat> yes, I can sense them, but nothing more than that. Alrighty. Let's get close to the war barge. See if we can scan anything else. Hey, so you can make a couple passes and scan. Go ahead and do your rolls if you want to do more scans. A couple more. Yeah, I'm be I'll tight. do that. <laughs> there we go. Although I will say, uh, Boko, that the sign of science is specifically warp or psychic uh, presence would be all that I can detect. So if they're regular people, I wouldn't be able to detect them with sign of science. Okay, well, if that's the case, <clears throat> you uh, the tank you felt on the ship, it's not there in front of you. Two. Okay. Well, then uh, I will rephrase what I said earlier. No, there's nothing that I detect from this ship. Okay. Uh, you're able to verify yeah, nine sig nine life signatures on board. Uh, you're able actually to deduce uh, where they are, where they are generally where they're at. For the craft. You're pretty confident about that. You you can get the team there. You have okay. navigate, right? Yeah, I can. Uh, mm -hmm. I can do a navigation check as well because I have the thing. For oh, it. once you once once you get aboard, we can do all that. Uh, are you guys going aboard yet? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. The Hawk says, yeah, he says it's a docking port he can land to. It's the only place he sees available. So he's going to do that. Yeah, let's do it. I grip my sword tighter as we approach the the port. We will we will dock to the docking port, but we will not open it just yet. Would there be a terminal right next to the docking port before we open it and go in? Well, it's all on power, so you're gonna have to wrench your way in. Yeah.
fact, I gotta draw more shapes. I don't know why. Jeez, this is a huge. That's huge. I have two of me. That's so cool. Do you? I uh, have two tokens of me. I'll fix that in a second. Or can you delete one? Can you click on one and hit delete? There you go. Because that should be the case. Okay. Okay. I'm going to be here at the, at the Vanguard. Yeah, it's a space hawk. What do you expect? Hey, and finally, what seems like appropriate distances. It's so dark. I can't say anything. <clears throat> I will begin moving forward. I mean, when you encounter something, I'll describe it to you. Yeah, sorry, repeat that. Whatever you encounter, I'll describe it to you when you look at it. Okay. Just let me know when you see something. All right. Uh, Captain, where should we head first? Or squad leader? I mean, I am, it's still dark. I don't know where we're supposed to be. Uh, so top, we are in the top, top left. left, but I also be... don't see your token either. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, we need Karnoff's token in here. Or not Car fucking. We need Dominego. <laughs> yeah, <at> <laughs> yeah, you already had two tokens. Let's get a third one. There is also a sort of stairs uh, yes. right, right here outside of the thing. Yes, stairs? I can't climb stairs. Oh, dude. Then I I guess we just just we keep going climb. straight then. Oh, oh, okay, clap trap, whatever you say. Yeah. Made the I ascend joke earlier, so I had to round it off. Nice. Alright, so Dom Domino, do you see your character? Oh. Yes, I do. Top wow. left. <clears throat> He's way bigger, bigger than any of us, I think. No? Uh, there you go. There we go. I'm gonna assume our left side is the docking port? Yes. That's a big docking port, jeez. I'm assuming you're turning lights on? Like your own personal lights? Or someone that I see. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let some of us defend this area. <clears throat> defend, uh, defend the docking port just in case something goes awry. We can still escape. Oh yeah, would we have the Imperial Guardsmen with us or no? I'm bored. Huh? Quizzer knows not to bring these guys. They they would be a liability rather than a help. Yeah. Okay. Uh. So the Thunderhawk actually dock, and it's gonna take off to, as to prevent being tainted, and it's heading back. So you guys are on your own. Okay, so we don't need to defend here. All right, let's stick uh, together. Yeah, you don't need to defend there. So, um, they'll they'll be back in about four hours. Mm -hmm. All right, Neo Tyrant, we need to navigate to the closest life form or uh, signatures that you your uh, that you detected. Orders received, brother. We shall uh, make haste. So, so I'll, I'll I did detect the life forms. Where were they at? I'll give, I'll give you a ping. Go ahead and do a roll. We'll see if you get a, uh, we'll a ping. I'll give you a general ping in the map where to go. All right. I'll do another roll. This can be tech use. All right. Here we go. 
So they're Just picked it up on the scanner. Yeah, they're somewhere in this area here. So if you zoom out a bunch, you, you see it. It's uh oh Jesus ooh. Christ! Oh my God! <laughs> right, uh, that just gives you at. general area. That, that gives you a general area, so it doesn't give you a pinpoint location. You can use navigation. I can tell you where to go from there, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use navigation. Okay. Yeah, nine uh nine signatures are over there. In the general area, it could be okay. it could be. It would be surface Back navigation, there, right? A couple, couple, couple rooms over. What's up? It would okay. be surface navigation, right? It's a separate uh, navigation yeah. for being on board a ship? I don't think so. Surface. Okay. And then it's going to be plus 10 uh, with the thing that I've got. All right. Okay. We're you in wanna, business. You want to go this way? All right. I see that. All right, Neil. This way. Brothers, Neil, on me. I'll take point. And I found the Lord check me. Uh oh. What? Uh, uh do we see these guys? They have the ninja mask. Mm -hmm. uh, so go ahead. Roll for perception right. or awareness. I guess I'll I'll you know I'm, I'm looking at my uh, thing the whole time. So your characters would would see that it's kind of odd. It's like a giant pile of metal and wires just in the corners. I picked so, it up on the scanner. Uh, uh it's not it's not technological. Whatever it is. Yeah, but the okay. scanner like. Yeah. Other, other... Hang on. You, you, you're scanning it. It's a pile of wires, metal, weapons. Oh, okay. Yeah. Some some blood. Some of these Are we in a about it. dark environment? Are we in a what? Are we in a somewhat the, dark the whole environment? The whole ship's powered down. Sweet. Well, but we, we did power on the lights on our suits? No. Your, your headlamps. On our headlamps. Suits, yeah. Headlamps. That's only dir the direction lights. we're facing. Then yeah, if then I succeed as well, then in that case I also succeed. Okay, you also see a pile of weapons, blood and guts in the corner. It doesn't, it's not anything co uh, too conspicuous. Alright. I cautiously That's... walk, I like to look at it, but cautiously. But it is odd. It. it is, right. Having, no, the librarian, do you want to do any scans on these things? Because you'd be aware of it too, I imagine. <clears throat> Just that it's a pile of uh, stuff. Uh, no, no. You're a psyker, right? Yeah. You can do psi signs on it. Right. Okay. Uh, sure. what, what did you get on your awareness check? Uh, I got one degree of success. Oh, I didn't see yours. Okay, no, you, Yale Mug, would sense that these are some sort of malicious warp entities. Oh, so they should be destroyed. Those pilots are warp tanks. Yeah, flamer and I would with like us, to right? say again. We got a flamer with us, right? A flamer? Yeah. Uh, I, I would like to also start uh, channeling right now. Okay. Uh, so who's gonna fire on these things? Well, upon hearing that they are cool, I succeed my channeling. My Did next you say out loud that they're warp tainted creatures. Better. I said they were warp tainted creatures. Those piles were warp tainted. Shooting them. I will uh, charge right into the creature in the top right. Okay. And as without my jetpack, I can just reach it. Sweet. So let me see. I want to shoot at the one towards the south with my plasma pistol because I'm just barely in range of that. Alright. Alright. Can do my two hit roll. Modifier on the uh, two hit roll. Uh, minus 20. Alright. Okay, so a charge. Pew pew. 
swing and a okay. miss. Blow a hole in the side. Of, yeah, you blow a hole in the side of the wall because you're not sure what to shoot. It just looks like a pile of shit. So, okay, you hit. Go ahead, do your damage. Oh, nice. Uh, let's see, tearing, penetration five. I can do so, it. Hold up. Because that's the tearing. I'm trying to. 37 damage gets through. I can do another because or that's no, hold the, up, the Fury. Actually, thing. hold up. 32 damage. Okay. Yeah, minus 32. And I can reroll that last one. And it's dead. Okay, fine, cool. Oh, you wait, just, no, you just see a pile of ten tentacles, weapons, and like uh, blood, gut, skulls fly everywhere. <laughs> you see it. Yeah, you yell mug, you hear like a, a, that unknown voice hissing at you. Cool. I As will, it dies. I'll do dual shot fire at the uh, south one then. Okay. Still the minus 20 to hit for me, or? Yep. My cobbler hat? Oh, yeah. I was having fun drawing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I missed. You, t you too hit the wall. And put a hole in it. You just make yep. uh, the hole that I made bigger. <laughs> <laughs> that, I Oh, so, uh, do you guys all, did you guys all fire? Well, who hasn't fired yet? I haven't fired yet. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Do your thing. Minus 20. I'll just use a regular bolter for now. Okay. You also hit the wall. And I guess we can do... Initiatives now, right? Yeah. Actually, wait a second. Uh, I did not. I was thinking of doing full fire, or uh, burst fire. That would be plus four. If uh, if I'm doing like burst, doesn't that also uh, isn't that plus ten? Again. If I do like a, a fully automatic or a burst. Yeah, um, then you that's you additional ten. Down. So, yeah, I just let me. Yeah. yeah. Don't we get bonus to initiative because of the uh, oath, or is that what's that a different one? Basically, it's plus one, and uh, you get to roll twice and take the better result. Okay. So I got a fifteen, but I don't know. Now I know why. What was it again for initiative? So it's like one d ten and first yeah, digit of what? Bonus. Agility. Which our agility bonus is that a plus one for this roll because of uh, the sister's power. Okay. Oh wait, wait. Is she activated that? Okay. Yep. You're blessed you... by the emperor for the time yeah. being. Yeah. Quite literally. So it's doubled. But, oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> mm-hmm. Here we go. So moth, you would go first. Uh, Jesus. Has everybody done their double roll? Not yet. Oh, okay. Also, if you want to uh, delay your action until after me, I can give everybody a plus 10 uh, so bonus gonna... on any one check they make during their turn. Okay, so cool. I'm going to have 19. As long there as you can stay like, within 15 meters of me. Uh, 15 meters of you what? Um, if whoever goes before me wants to delay to after me, uh, although I think Moss the only one that goes before me, uh, I can give anyone within 15 meters of me a plus 10 to any singular roll that they make during their turn. Holy shit. But I have to get the power off first, so. As I'm saying, Moth, if right now you want to delay until after my turn to take yours... I can give you that fun plus 10. I think Moth already went. No? No, we just did uh, our... Uh, we just started our right. initiative. 
I see. Yeah. Although, no, well, I mean, Karnoff there is at a 19. Yep. Well, technically, a your initiative is plus 10? Well, because, like, the thing gives you oh, a natural Karnoff, agility. Sorry, sorry. It's unnatural times two, so your agility bonus is doubled. Yeah. Damn. So, oh, wait, wait. Karnoff is worth so it's oh that's true doubled for initiative okay no it's doubled period right 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 but we use our bonus for our initiative which means yes. i'm not a i'm not at a plus one i'm at a um plus eight okay so i'm at 18 then got Jesus. It. this is scary <laughs> yeah Although Black Shield's so far away that uh, I can't affect you at the moment. Ah, uh, okay. Karnoff, so you, you, go. you can go ahead and do like a full run and then get in my range. So hold on, hold on a moment. Hold on a second. So with my double agility, my movement. Oh, that's speed, true. Your movement is crazy. Wait, uh, does it affect movement? I don't think it affects yes. movement. It would affect movement. Because your movement is based on your agility bonus. I have moved. Oh, wait, does it already apply? Hold on. Hold on. And don't forget your power armor also increases your agility bonus for movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By one, uh, I think. No, my, I have a different power armor. Uh, my. It doesn't affect the change on the sheet if I put the natural modifier. So I'll just do it like this. Okay, so how far away is this creature? Uh, 62. So that will be... Yeah, I can just reach it just, just by running without even using a jetpack. I can just reach it and hit it. So, well, running's a full no full charge, action. charge, charge. I can charge up to it. I can charge oh, up okay. to it. Wow, your charge is 60 meters with the double. Yeah, <laughs> That's crazy. it's insane. It's insane. Uh, so doing that, uh, can I attempt to intimidate it? All right, so for that, let me let me get the thing. It's a free action. Okay. Uh, as a part of a charge action, I can use Intimidate skill to make a war cry. It's a free action that targets the recipient uh, or recipients of the charge. Uh, blah, 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 blah. But the character then, I make the Intimidate test, and the target takes a willpower test. So I do Intimidate. Ability that uh, machines they don't get they don't get intimidated. Pretty sure they, they don't. Oh, they it. don't get intimidated. Then then this is useless. All right, I'll the just roll aware of that. To, I, I'll just yeah, go roll. yeah 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 yeah. Because it's a uh, essentially an automaton. It, it's not a living creature. It's a pile of weapons, blood and guts. Did it? Not? Oh, there you go. Took a while. All right, so I. Did that? Then charge bonus is. Uh, uh, Yelma, you hear it laughing. Okay. Are the unknown voice laughing? Hit. Okay, that's three success. So my penetration will be doubled for this hit. Oh boy! You probably just killed this thing outright. I'm using the okay, wrong good. fucking thing all the time. Sorry. Uh. Uh, uh, 33, 30, 30, 32, no, 32 damage, yeah, with 10 penetration. That's at the end of okay, my cool. turn. Okay. Uh, Eclades goes, or Eraclades. Uh, is, is everything dead? I can't see. Well, hold on. I'll do my faff action move no. first. Over to here. It's not dead. It's still, it's still up. But then I'm going to or... use my ability, uh, possibility shield. So now everybody within 15 meters of me, 
uh, until I release this power. And I'm using this fettered, by the way. What does it do? Um, so everyone within my uh, sci rating times three, and I'm using, uh, and I it succeeded my evocation, so I get plus one of my sci rating. I'm doing it fettered, so I half my sci rating. Uh, so my total for this power is three. Uh, so everyone in sci rating times five meters, so 15 meters. Um, Oh, that's not true. I have to choose three different people. So it would be uh, the sister, the tactical marine, and I guess the tech marine, who are the only ones close enough to benefit from this, uh, will gain a plus 10 bonus on any single roll they make during their turns. Oh, wow. Damn. How, do, how close do we need to be to you? 15 meters. If you exit that, wow. range, does it uh, stop? Uh, I can move. Uh, I'm, yeah, if you exit the, the range, it'll stop. So you have to be okay. in my 15-meter range when you make the roll. Okay. Uh, but I can move. Oh, on. I actually may have been able to move further. I actually could have. It's okay. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll stand. I'll stand just behind the sister. I don't want to get in front of the uh, the tactical marine. <laughs> yeah, so 15 meters from me, everyone gets plus 10 on any roll they make. Any one, one roll. One roll they make. So I am in any single that. roll. It's not yes. stipulated to attack or not attack. No, just uh, plus ten bonus to one roll each round. It could be any roll you make. Dang. Uh, but you get a plus ten bonus to one roll. So if you make three rolls, only one of them gets that plus ten. <sighs> and that's my turn. Moth, go. All right, I run down over here, and then I shoot the creature. Again, another in dual shot. Combat. Right. He's in melee. True. You can take the shot still. What is the shooting the melee minus twenty automatically? You have a chance to hit your comrade. Yep, yep. So my full move is 24 meters, so I could move around down here. Yeah, I'll get around against it. Fuck it. And... Because I'm such a badass, I could shoot while running my full move. Oh, well, you no longer get that plus 10. Yep. Which is a shame, but I can also use my weapons in melee and I have it counted as a. Inter that's fun. Do it. Yep. I want to see it. So, is there still the minus 20 to hit on this thing? or? Oh, if it's allowed you shoot in melee? No. Because you're in melee. Sweet. I think it's minus 20 if you shoot into melee. You are yeah, in shooting melee. into melee is minus 20. Nice. Nice. Goodbye. Oh, that's that's, a, lot oh. that's a lot of nines. That's a lot of nines. That's a lot of damage. Oh. And it's a righteous fear. Oh. Yeah, and it's a righteous fear. I don't know if you want to waste the ammo on it, though, because I'm pretty sure he's No, dead. I don't. <laughs> Damn, I mean, I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of curious of how much damage you can deal with with that righteous fury. A lot. A lot. A lot. Now, because he's a sister of battle, he doesn't get the auto hit on yeah. Xenos. So he has to actually roll to try and hit again. 
I'm not going to waste the ammo, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's 46 it's, damage with 20 penetration. Yeah, it's super dead. Yeah, there's, <laughs> it had like eight wounds on it. That was it. Left. So, mega dead. I was looking forward to hitting somebody with the thing. Ah, <laughs> uh, that, that sounds like a bad news, Bears. Yeah. We already know you have plenty more in store. Don't worry. Don't worry. You'll get your chance. You'll get your chance. All right. Then I wait for everyone to gather up. Cool. So I recommend we just move slowly. Since we have that agility bonus, it's basically a full move of our half moves now. Um, but if we do that, then I can just keep up this probability, this possibility shield as we move. And just sustain it indefinitely as we move through the ship. Very well. And Neil is still uh, leading us. Yeah, that's correct. Right. Where was the pings again, Boko? You're going to have to do another navigation check. And I'll let you know. Another one? Okay. All right, here we go. <clears throat> I reload my pistols. <laughs> <laughs> and just, just so you guys are aware, all those things will just start off stealth. I don't, I don't want to put all the little ninja tokens on them. Are concealed. Okay. All right. But they will look odd to your characters. Where you'll do investigations, a chance to look at see if it's a, uh, a thing or not. Okay. Uh, okay, well, I succeed the navigation rules, so where do we go from here? Play. What? Forward. I'm basically going to go forward. Okay, I can't see your ping. It's, it's, it's directly uh, to it It's yeah. directly to our right. Got it. Yeah, uh, here. So, look, here. Yeah. Yeah. Forward okay, now, brothers. Um, I right, didn't zoom out. Anytime you ping, just zoom out a bit. Yeah, I've been zooming out. Should Apparently be able to see the ping through the darkness. Yeah, you should be able to see the ping through the darkness. Yeah, you okay. can see the ping through the darkness. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's still directly to our west. So up or down. We got a choice. I'll let uh Neil make that decision. Let's move Easy. down. Sorry, to our right. It's not possible to move down at the moment because there's a floor. I don't like floor. being a downer, though. Right? Can I side the group? <laughs> <laughs> Should we do an awareness check right here? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Sure. Ah, uh, you see more of those piles again. Very eerily similar to the other ones you encountered. Oh god, there's more. Oh yeah. It's up to you if you want to go in that room. It's very clear they were quickly copied and pasted to have more of them. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't see what you're whole... talking about. The They're whole ship is set up. <laughs> they're not copy paste. I they mean, were yes, copy they're pasted. They'd all have the the little ninja symbol on them. Yeah, they don't. So they don't. But they are all stealth. But we are aware that to ourselves, it's more bad guys. Since we're yep. since we're since we're all aware, I ask, how many things warp stuff are there on this ship? Can you check that librarian? Uh, yeah. Since it, now we're in the ship, and we should... as, that skill is not a full action, yes. But since it's basically like an awareness check, but for psionic stuff, I should be able to. Are you to checking do... just AFK for a minute? Specifically in that room? Are you no, checking asking, um, specifically in the room or the whole ship? I'm, I'm asking the entire ship, or at least near I want to roll around, around us. I want to roll first for just that room. Okay. Uh, do I get any bonuses or what? 
Uh, how close are you? Uh, this far away. Uh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, plus twenty. Nope. <laughs> I don't notice anything. Uh, there's only two that you see that are in there, as far as you're aware. Jesus. In fact, you suggest we could probably just take these things out so they're not in our way. There's not that many in there. Not that I can sense, anyway. We'll take your word on that. So, <clears throat> yep, we'll, your character only senses the two. Yep. And your, char- your, your character's only aware of the two, so if you guys are going to go in there, go in there. I recommend our ranged team to take the first shots. Then I'll uh, spring what, into action. What kind of stuff is this? Is this a uh, reactor? Hey, you're gonna take the time to to investigate what that is. Yeah, from afar. I don't know what that uh, is. So. It's, it's it's it looks like some sort of. Uh, device for the ship to use. You're not sh- quite sure what the tech is. You're not, your guy's not a uh, ship expert. So he goes, hmm, that is a very big device on a ship in the middle of his room. Can this must be an important in? room. Can he probably could. Neil, can you, can you understand these? Uh, at the moment. No. Oh. Damn it. He's looking at the other direction right now. I guess you can use Imperial lore if you want to kind of deduce what it kind of is. You're, you've seen it thousands of times. And now we're just kind of... You're just not quite sure what it does or what it is. Yeah, because if we accidentally hit it, I don't want this thing to explode more. What do I see? Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, um, I'm back. Rolling for lore. You know, generally... Right, you know, generally this is some sort of engineering room of some kind. Uh, you've seen engineers going in and out of it. That's all you kind of know about this area. Can I look at the sign that uh, leads into this room? And does it say engineering? <laughs> there is no signage. Ah. Oh. The real demons took all the signs away. Who would do no, that? It's just, uh, Who would remove the signage that indicates what room things are? At least they didn't turn them around backwards. They did that to confuse us. Obviously. Neil Tyrant, can you identify these circle objects? Circular objects? I can try. Uh, tech use modifier. Uh, plus 20. Alright. Basically can't fail it then. Alright, so you know generally those things are used to refine fuel for craft on, on board the ship. Brother, That's so it's our fuel refineries. You might not want to shoot shoot. in there. They might be highly flammable. I will charge in then. Wait. No. Uh Uh-oh. Is it even worth it? Is it even worth taking care of these? Well, these, whatever they are, infesting an Imperial ship, they can be permitted to live. Yeah, but that is a dangerous area. Maybe maybe we want to funnel that funnel them in here. What if we just shoot the uh, fuel refinery and then blow them up? We don't know how much fuel they are. And the rest of the ship along with it. (laughs) (laughs) That's why I'm being cautious. Uh, Oh, man. I can tell by Bogo's laughter that Moth is correct. I mean, do we really need that part of a ship? Is that fear from a space marine I hear? No, I mean, it would basically split the entire thing in half and cut us off from where we need to go, presumably. So, not a good idea. Well, our direction was the other way, regardless. This is just a side corridor. No, this is where all the... We wouldn't want from. these things to sneak behind us in a bush. Mm, no, actually, the uh, pings. Uh, I think. Uh, oh, you didn't. You didn't zoom out far enough. Uh, oh. It was this way. Okay, got it. So he's correct. It was. It, this is an offshoot. Um, I'd like to look for a button to like seal a door. 
if there's any doors that we can close on these guys and maybe weld hey, them shut. Alert. Looks like there's a bulk. Awareness check. All right. I'm going to yeah, do awareness. awareness. I also assist in that. <clears throat> so that's plus 10. Okay, so <clears throat> the door that was there, you notice that it has been removed somehow. They did remove the signage. <laughs> and also the you. doors. <laughs> The the giant the bulkhead the doors. Door. Yeah, so 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 you just see giant drag marks into that room. Drag marks. Drag yeah, and on drag. the drag. Oh. Yeah, drag marks. Yeah, this and is... and on the ground beneath you guys, uh, you notice that there's like tons of scratches in the ground and like chunks of metal taken out of the floor, flooring. This might have been the work of blood ravens. Hmm. This is very sus. <clears throat> we, I don't think we want to go in there. <clears throat> but no. then again, there's just two of them. There might be two of them. That's all you're aware of. Uh, you know, well, as far as you're aware of, there's only two. Even your second right. there's only but two. But I, I am you're mainly good. concerned about the reactor, the fuel refinery, refining uh, equipment. Oh, yeah. So I don't want, to, I don't want anyone to be near here. Near here, you can you can make an uh, you can take a shot to attract their attention. Just anywhere. Well, maybe <laughs> not anywhere. But yeah, may, maybe Most... aim it like at the floor or the ceiling, but you know, not directly or vaguely directly towards the refinery or uh, tanks. Yes, but just anywhere, anywhere other than that area. I think uh, I actually have a couple melted bombs on me, so I oh. think in case our mission goes south, like, we can set scuttling charges maybe and then get off the ship and then blow it if it's full of all these warp creatures. Uh, question. Can you repurpose the Kraken missiles to improvise explosives? Yep. You can do anything. Are you actually do, yeah. the Kraken I have, I have still have those two Kraken missiles. Okay. Yes. Nice. So, if you want to make improvised devices, you can. It'll take you about ten minutes to do so. You also need a demolition skill to do it. Yeah, I, I cannot. I'm yep. asking. Who invested the demolition skill again? Ancius. Okay. And he's dead. And Neo, I'm actually, and Neo I'm actually trained in demolition. So we could do that. I could rig. I've got, like, two melted bombs from the last mission still, so I could rig one of them to explode. And what would that achieve? Well, let's say that we get run off the ship by these things or whatever. We can uh, remote detonate it after we escape or set a time. It's like a bit of a waste. The ship is still salvageable. Yes. Okay. Even if yeah. it's infested. Well... Yeah, so we don't want to scuttle this ship just yet. We don't know how many these things are here. Right. We just know there's two of them here, but I don't know how many there are on this entire ship. Or we don't know. Probably Where there's two, the there's two hundred. Let's lure these two somehow so that they can stay away from their fuel reactor. I'll stand uh, just slightly ahead of the group, waiting for them to come here. Who's the best shot here? I, I have a, I guess, ballistic skill of 72. Yeah, I think you're the best shot around. Yeah. Okay. Mine's only 56. I'm going to say, did you really need to ask that question if you had a skill? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I, mean, I just want to make sure. No, no, let me do it. If my skill is 39, I'll get it for sure. <laughs> All right. I will I'll, make a, I'll, I'll make a single shot between those two things. things. They're called warps, right? Or warp things? I don't know. What are these? There's some kind of warp entity. Just. All right. I'll keep calling them things. I'll just sh shoot between them. See if they react. More. <clears throat> Is there any modifier to shoot? 
Uh, you get a plus ten my... from me because you're nearby me while I'm maintaining this uh, power. Plus zero then. And where are you shooting at again? Essentially, try shoot between them so to see if they react. <clears throat> they do not react. <clears throat> I'll make a let me uh, let me do something. Twenty-three. I'll make another shot. <clears throat> you can aim as well. That can have plus twenty to your uh, yeah. shot. Oh, they are no longer there. Mm. Oh, and this one uh, is a single fire, and is aiming right at right at one of those entities. One of those entities that are no longer there. Yeah. What you pinging for, Boko? Just don't oh, look I see. behind you. I see what yeah. you were doing. Yeah. 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 Mm. <laughs> they teleported. Got it. Something like that. Behind us. Well, your characters don't know that, so... Yeah, we don't know that. We're just still looking down the thing. Wouldn't we have known the two things that we were looking at disappeared? <laughs> uh, do awareness check, and you can probably do your side science, psycho science still. Check. Do I get any bonuses for this? Plus, plus 20. I got exactly uh, zero. <laughs> so you know what, whatever you know, whatever those wires and whatever it was, you just saw it suddenly kind of like sink into the ship. You all see the same thing. It suddenly sinks in the ship. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know that the psychic presence is no longer in front of you. It's to your sides. So you could direct the team to look to look look around you. Behind us, brothers. Uh, I turn around. I look at north because I heard behind. <laughs> I see two of them. Uh, which one's the, well, let me just check which one's the closest to me. Uh, twenty-four. Twenty-five. Like yeah, I have the rough location, which is uh, behind us, brothers. Okay. I just turned yeah. around and I just wanted to, like, as soon as I see the first one. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, okay. I turned around and in, in, in the counterclockwise motion, so I would see the, the thing on the right first. So I will just charge straight mm -hmm. at it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Are you still going to charge at it? Uh, does it? Uh, do they appear before I charge in or after I charge in? As, 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 so you saw the thing? The, so the I, 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 I saw only two. So like I saw one in the right and one... Uh, well, I just saw the one in yep, the right. I, yep, I guess you're going to attack it. This is all from that room, by the way. Great. All right. Well, so. at least they're not in the reactor room. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then let me make this... Um, I switched to my heavy bolter. Okay, my penetration is going to be doubled, and my ability is uh... oh boy, look at me go! How much penetration do you get? So that's forty-two penetration ten, and I can do okay, another roll. Ten. All right, I see. Uh, sorry, that's minus. Okay, I think they're dead. <laughs> I think this one's dead. Not sure. Yeah. yeah, it's dead. Yeah, it's dead. All right, my turn. Oh, do we do initiative now, or? Probably just keep the same initiative we had before. So, uh, Eric, okay. ladies, go. We'll we'll keep the same initiative. Yeah, okay. Um, 
Let me see. I need to check distances and stuff. Now, the other ones are invisible, too. You only know the the two that you initially saw, unless you're looking oh, okay. for all of them. So, as far as you're aware, there's only two. So, in fact, so I'll unmark the ones you have. I'll mark the ones you have seen so far. So we only see this one, this one. and this one, which I just killed. Yeah, the one you just killed. You can do an awareness check there, Yelmug, or a psionic check plus plus thirty to that, and then you can see them. Cool. Uh, I'll do that. Okay. Uh, you know that there are now all those guys around you. I'm sure you're related to the team. Yeah. No. Nah. Nah. Okay. No. They're around. They're all around us, brothers. The, There's at them. least. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. There's at least nine of them. He said that, but we don't actually see them. Is that correct? Uh, if you guys would do where to check on your guys' turn, you guys would get a plus 20 because he pointed them out. Okay. Would that have uh, taken an action? That awareness check? Uh, no, I don't think so. It would be a free action. Cool. Uh, then... I will just take a move action and face check this guy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to face check this guy in the, my other half action is the maintain the uh, the ability. All right, go for it. Uh, yeah, I, I made my move and I'm maintaining my ability. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Boreas, go. Borso, go. Borso? Brisora. Borsa Adelin. Brisora. Brisora Adelin. What are they? Anyway? Jesus. <laughs> awareness. I'm not good Right, awareness. I don't do. Plus 20. Oh, boy. Yeah, I really confirm uh, what he said all night. God, I rolled shit on that, too. Oh, my God. (laughs) He got it, though. Yeah, the plus 20 really saved your butt there. Okay. Go ahead, do your thing. Uh, Then I'm going to shoot that dude and that dude with one hit each. Cool. Do it. I want to see that. This is going to be cool. Uh, dude on the left first. Man, that's half my name. And then dude on the right. <laughs> What's the bonus for the being within half your range? Hey. Plus 20. Hey, Lameo. Hey, I hit one. Uh, I I remember, remember you would have gotten a one. you would have gotten a plus yeah. ten on one roll. Yeah, but he still would have missed. It would have been minus 1.1. I don't know. I just wanted you to remember that. Well, you said okay, one roll, down. right? Yeah, one roll. Every, Does every it stipulate turn. attack or damage? It. Oh, that's, that's fair. Yeah. That's very fair. Although I'm pretty certain it's... Uh, it's uh, 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 yeah. If it doesn't yeah, stipulate it, it doesn't stipulate, it just says gain a plus ten bonus to one roll each round. Oh so it's just a, you don't even have to roll one D ten? No, you're just getting a plus ten. Oh shit, okay, that's eighteen damage then. Wait, 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 is is it to damage or is that to It's it plus say. ten to uh, any uh, one roll. Yeah. Oh oh any holy shit. Any, any roll, yes. Any, any roll. one roll. So, Ow! Uh, Orange Mark dude takes Oh, I gave it to the other guy. I gave it to one on the left. 
because the first oh, okay. role is the guy to your front, and the other guy is this guy. No, I, I, I did. Imagine. This dude was the mask, so he's further away. The other dude got all the bonuses. Okay, so he was within half weapons range. Although the only there you go. Now... Aha, <laughs> okay. all is well. Uh, the only three there people that would have this uh, plus ten, by the way, is going to be uh, the Sorotis, the Tech Marine, and the Tactical Marine. Um, because you're, I think, slightly too too far away from me, uh, Mr. Mayor. Right at range, too. I don't need bonuses. So, I can do this myself. Enemies, and I'm not giving a plus enemies, 10 to uh, an NPC. Yeah. yeah, enemy's turn. So this is actually, actually, he's going to go to Karnoth because he just killed someone. So I think Karnoth. it was Tactical Marine's turn, no? Or was it? Okay. No. No, nope. enemy's turn. Enemy's got 13. He's 12. Unfortunately. Uh, Yes. So let's see. And he's going to hit you. He can Planet try. A hit. <laughs> Parried. Okay, cool. Because that would have been really massive damage. Um, Oof. Okay, well, remember yeah, that they, they would have I'm to... Lying. Uh... Yeah, okay. Okay, Okay. so this one, the next one is going to fire at Jesus, the mango in the back. Mm-hmm. You don't want to be hit by these guys. This one's attacking you, Domingo. Domingo, you may want to switch the side bolts, by the way. Okay. So it hits it hits you like in the head for Can I dodge that? You can try. Scene damage. Where's the dodge? Uh it's just agility. Oh no 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 no. Dodge is an actual skill. Parry yeah. is agility. Um, any modifier on that? You're getting plus 10 because you get a plus of, 10. Uh, yeah. Ouch. Oh. I'm going to re -roll. You get hit. <laughs> you can do a fate point. Yeah, fate point re-roll. That's plus you're about to get 20 hit now. Yeah. And Remember, you, you yeah, could you also use damage. your once per round uh, plus 10 on this as well if you wanted to. I think that's a good idea. I think I'm going to do plus 30 then. Mm -hmm. Hey, you made it. You barely <laughs> dodged that glances off your helmet. Uh let's see. That was one, two. Uh okay. The librarian, you're about to be attacked. He can certainly try. He tried. He, he hit. Tried. Yeah. All right. Uh and I'm going to I'll uh Perry, then. Okay. Go if you fail, you're going to be snared. Just made it. Just nice. made it. <laughs> you just see tentacle and you're like, oh, shit. Thank God I give myself a plus 15 with this possibility shell to dodge Three. and parry. Uh, right, so this one is going to take a shot at the mayor. Actually, you're pretty close to making aren't you? So it's going to come up behind you. And let's see. I'm going to pop this thing out. I don't, know, I don't know why I didn't do that. And it's going to attack you, Dominguez. Man, they do really? like me. Uh, Okay. Yeah, they kind of do, because you're pretty close. I can't. Uh, I Can I dodge again? Yep. Why I think so. I think you dodge. 70. Jeez. Shouldn't be in any of the thing. If 8.8, you're going to take the damage. Uh, what is the damage? Oh, oh this I'm... is melee. It's going to be huge. Oh, well, never mind. But you are snared. Now you got to do a strength check to get out. Uh, let me look at what the. I, I just want to know, know the. It's 26 damage. with four penetration. I'll take. I... Right. And you're you're also Jeez. snared, so you got to do a strength check to get out, if I recall. 
strength or agility, whichever is higher. I'm oh, like uh, yeah. you can break it yeah. or you can wiggle out. Well, I definitely get damaged on that. I think. I have no idea how this works though. <laughs> Getting hit. So okay, so it's hitting mm. your uh, your armor rating will reduce the damage by its amount. But it does depend on where he gets hit. And then it's subtract left... four from your armor rating for the penetration. It's his right leg. He's, it's hitting you on the right leg. Hey. Uh, it snared you in the leg. Hitting you for 26. Wherever your armor is on your right leg. That's uh, the bottom minus number? my damage. Bottom number, yep. Okay, so by bottom number is 22. All right, so subtract four from that for penetration. 18. And then subtract 18 from 26, which should be just eight, and that's how much damage you take. Or how many eight, wounds do you take? Right. So I take eight damage from yes. that. Uh, I don't. I how much total damage can I deal with? Uh, you should have rolled your wounds when you made your character. I think. I have not done I think, that. Oh, you never rolled wounds. Okay. No. This is my oh, first boy. time. I think it's eighteen plus one d four. Was it? Uh, I no, I thought it right. was. I think it's a. It's like a d ten. Plus like was it twelve. Eighteen plus one. There, there was a huge number. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, what's your what's your wounds? How many wounds you got? We're trying to figure that one out. <laughs> Give us a moment. Oh, you don't have wounds either. I should tell you how often you guys get hit. Uh, eighteen. Right, so it's one d five plus ah. eighteen. Yeah. One d five plus eighteen. Not yeah. bad. Still right. more than I have. And more than Great, I have. Great, you're plus 18 is more than I have. <laughs> oh, that, even that minus 8, that, that hurt you a lot. That took off, like, almost half your health. Yeah. Lucky for you, if I remember correctly, it's your uh, toughness bonus times 3 is how many wounds you can take before you're heavily wounded. Oh, yeah, that's for healing, though. Yeah. Yeah, he heavily... It's, to make it it's odd the way it works. Yeah, it is. Okay. So I definitely need to um, get a, get away from, or get out of his grasp, right? Yeah, you're snared. Yeah, I need to get out of the snared. How do I do that? Uh, weapons quality design and blah, blah, blah. Oh, you're doing a DLD test. Doing a DLD test. Go ahead and do that now. Do you modify? You are snared. Wasn't it agility or strength? It just says the target must make an agility test or to, or be immobilized. So you can make an agility test to just ignore all of that and the snare effect. Ah, okay, okay, got it. Uh, uh, and, and, and it has a stipulation. And an immobilized target can attempt to burst the bonds, a strength check, or wiggle free, an agility test, on his turn. So he's not awesome. snared. He has, to do the, he, has to do the, he has to do the agility test first to see if he got snared in the first place. So go ahead and do that. I did plus hit. 10 on that, too, since that, that's the yep. armor thing. Yep, you, you you didn't get entangled. Good. Okay. <clears throat> oh, this is close combat. So, I mean... Yeah. yeah. I should... Do you have the enhanced knife? Does, I think that everyone has the enhanced knife. I think knife. we. I think. Yeah, I've, yeah. Yeah, we should all have the starter's combat so, knife. Yeah, it's one d ten plus three R with special of uh, balance razor sharp edge. Mm -hmm. Razor sharp means if you roll. Two successes on a hit or more, your penetration is double. Yeah. I am thinking of trying to get away and then use my heavy bolter on these guys. <laughs> and that yeah, how do you I ever have to disengage, which will be your full action, or you would take a you can just move and take a attack of opportunity. If I take, if they, if it takes the opportunity, I can dodge on that though, right? Yes. 
Uh, yep, I think so. Okay. <clears throat> I'll do that. Where are you gonna go? Back to your squad mates? Yeah, so I'm gonna try to attempt to move closer to the middle of the hallway. So, like this. <clears throat> And I'll attempt to dodge that. So otherwise, you're going to be taking 31 damage. Well, I dodged it. Nice. <clears throat> Good. <clears throat> Our fleet dodged and got out of that not nightmare. Okay. And I used the heavy bolter. Ah. Why did you use Kill Tyron? Full action. Yeah, you already used your full action to... Oh, you know you moved, right? Okay. Yeah. That's all you did. Okay, cool. Yeah, you can attack. Yeah, so I'll do full attack on the guy that hit me. Mm -hmm. Any modifiers besides my base modifier 40? Should be plus 20 because you're half range, right? Yeah. Plus and I'll do oh, plus shame. 60. Plus 10. So if you wanted to gain that plus 10 from me, but I mean, you could add this. I already to the used it. I already oh, that's used right. It. You used it to you used it to dodge. That's right. Well, no, this is a new turn because it's not your turn. Is it? Yeah, no, it's just, every it's round. Skipped. The turn skipped. Oh, okay. Okay. I haven't oh, gone oh, yet. Oh, that's true. That's true, it's not any around yet. Never mind. So I don't have that okay. ability benefit. No, no. no. <clears throat> Your damage? Yeah, it's eviscerated. It's just dead. <laughs> Holy fuck. Does it hit this guy too? Yeah, I'm gonna start moving pieces off the board so you can move his ability. Say again? Will it hit this guy too? Should cause it's full auto, oh, and no. if it kills one Do guy, you, give me one second. Here's here's a better question. Oh, no, Do I'm you making... really want to ask that question when you're shooting into the reactor room? Ooh, that's a good question. It hits one too. So I rolled for that one because these these are different monsters than what you're normally fighting against. It's not like they're just standing there lined up, to take shots. So, a little bit different, but yeah, you killed that one too. Okay. Alright, so I okay, believe it's my turn. Yeah. Alright. Uh, let's see. I'm going to... I'm going to move and attack this guy right here. So, let's see. Yeah, I can. I can. I think Austin melee. Are you gonna melee it? Yeah, I'm gonna melee. So you get bonus. Flanking. You get bonus for flanking, I believe. Plus ten for each one in flanking, something like that. Uh, plus ten. Uh, if it's two people in it's one. It's plus, plus ten plus for each per additional person in melee. It caps at three. It doesn't okay. go above three. Okay. Well, you so get plus what, twenty plus for. It's plus twenty for us two. If you charge, right. that's like an additional ten. No, 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 it's plus 10 for 2. Character. Is it plus 10 for 2? It's well, there's two additional two. ones, that's what I'm saying. It's uh, a Moss it's character, three, he's plus 20. LA. I will yeah. just do plus, plus, three, plus 20. Plus 20, yeah. Plus 20. Because Moss character's in there, too. Oh, god damn oh, it. Shit. Swinging a miss from my I servo arm. Wait, do you have a yeah. last skill of 35? I'm actually going to spend a fate point to reroll that. Wait, do you have a weapon skill of 35? Uh, yes, I do. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, my weapon uh, skill is my worst stat. You may want to use that plus 10 bonus that you get once per round. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Okay, so... so reroll be plus 40. Yeah, I'm gonna do that then. Do reroll. Then this will be plus 40. 
Pew, pew, Good luck. Burn a fate point. Okay, oh, I boy. I connected, and let's do the damage. Boom! Twenty-eight impact with ten pen. Oh. Well, it's dead then. You kill it by one point. Squash the giant bug scorpion thing. Yeah, it looks like a ten. It looks like a like I said, a pile of uh, weapons, tentacles, blood, just coming out from the ground, essentially. Well, he's done. And I'm done. That's my turn. It's just to give them representation, basically. I don't have anything to represent tentacles coming out of the ground. Yeah. Will the NPC move, or will it not? Will it not? Oh, it's uh, Karna. Here you go. No, but will the apothecary move, or will it just stand and do nothing? He's gonna heal. Okay, so it's not gonna participate it, in combat. Not... It, yeah, no. Okay. Uh, then in that case, I will use swift attack to attack it twice. Uh, let's see here. Yada yada. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's gonna be just a plus ten to hit. I can reroll that as part of my talent. Still miss. Okay, so my second attack. And I hit. Hold up, my son's calling you. One second. What's up? It's all good, buddy. Fine. All right. Wait, I'll be available in the next hour or so, boy, because I'm uh, middle middle of something playing some games with uh, some friends. If you want to call me? Yeah, if you want to call me in the next hour. Buddy, I don't know. We'll, we'll talk. Within an hour, right? Love you too. All right, what's up? I uh, I hit it with a uh, zero point five success. Do your damage. And that's the damage. And my turn. Okay. Uh, Heraclides, go. Cool. Uh, also, isn't the uh, chainsword a rending weapon? It's a tearing weapon. No, 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 no. Does it have the rending property? I uh, don't think it does. Is it chainsword? Well, this isn't the chainsword. It's Blade of the Black Shields. Oh, it's a two okay. Chainsword. Yep. Yeah, but it's still, yes, yeah, the two handed chainsaw. It's a two handed chainsaw. Oh. So shouldn't it have rending? Let me see. Or is that. That was a special weapon that I believe I crafted for him. Yeah, it might not have rending. Yeah. Hold on. Yep. Special. Of a normal chainsaw, it's just balanced and tearing. That's just like a normal chainsaw. It doesn't have rending. Yep. That's the damage. Well, a normal chainsaw has, has rending. Is it like it a damage not. type, you mean? No, like no. Special? Tearing is the damage type. Rending is a property a weapon can have, which would allow you to roll another damage die and replace the lowest. Uh, no, tearing does that. Rending tearing? is just a normal whatever. It's like your... Well, then rending knife. is the damage type, and tearing is the property. Yes, correct. Okay. So it does have tearing, then. Yes, the one, it's already the incorporated. That, it's already incorporated it? into the roll. Yes. Okay. Cool. It's hard to tell off that uh that thing, but okay. Cool. Yeah. Um sweet. So then my turn. Uh half action to maintain um my power. And then I can use another power while I'm doing this. And I'm going to 
um, target this spot right here between all of them, uh, which will then hit all three of these. And I'm going to unfettered cast smite. Oh shit! Go for it. Roll ninety nine. I love it. <laughs> well, uh, any doubles is bad. It's any doubles. It doesn't matter what it is. And if I fail, that doesn't oh, really? cause a roll. I told you this last week, man. <laughs> okay, I don't remember. Rain's all fried. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Um, I mean, chemotherapy does that to you, man. Anyway. Yeah. Doubles. Right. Got it. So I just have to make a willpower check. I'll be adding my plus ten bonus to this. Oh. No, we get a plus 10 because of uh, the thing we're on. Our, our oath. It's a willpower. Plus 2 willpower. Yeah, cool. So we get a willpower from that. So I'll use my plus 10 for the damage roll. Cool. I succeeded. So, uh, and it's... Is it a double? No. It is not. It's a 21. It is not a double. Close, though. Um, now, it is... Cyrating times d10 damage, and I'm going to add just 10 to this. Is it slash roll or roll slash? Slash, slash roll. roll. 35 to all of them? Uh, 35 with a pin of 4, because my sight rating is 4. So they have 10 armor, so 6 of that gets absorbed, so minus 29. Damn, 40, 10 plus 10, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yep, and that's to all hey, of them that that's there. That's pretty good. You're pretty good. Owie. <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty good. Yep. Now, I don't know if psychic powers get Righteous Fury or not. Uh, I, but I kind of. So. I think that's just for automatic weapons, right? Well, no, any any attack, but these oh. are powers, so I don't believe psychic powers. Nope. But it is an attack. Right. You did say any attack. Yeah. But these are powers. But yeah, but he's attacking with the powers, therefore it's in attack. Let me check. Let me check. <laughs> Just check. He's fucked. Combat and train. Uh, combat. That'd make him a god. He'd be unstoppable. No, not his. Yeah, Boko oh, might not want to allow that even. When if rolling it's a damage rule. after successful attack, so it doesn't specify which attack. So, right, first for smite, uh, it just simply says that it, I attack as if I do it the same as if I were making a ballistic check, but I just use willpower instead of ballistic check. So then you should so, get right so to fury. I, yep. Oh, yeah. uh, and since there are they Xenos? Well, no, they're warp scum, right? They are warp scum. So they're not technically yeah. Xeno. That's correct. Oh, so you wouldn't get right to fury then? Well, no, 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 no. But I just have do. to he make the to roll confirm. to attack again, ah, which I yeah. succeeded again. And it's not doubles again. Right, I forgot about Xenos making it automatic. Oh, yeah, then I think I should have rolled as well. Damn, they're dead. Cool. Even another yeah. Righteous Fury, it looks like. Yep. <laughs> but if they're dead, I'm not going to Righteous Fury that. You don't want to take the chance, right? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. No. <laughs> but what if? <laughs> well, you could Righteous Fury, but um, Righteous Discretion is the better part of Righteous Valor. Okay, uh, Moth, go. Well, I was going to do something, but since half the enemies are off the board now, I don't have to do it. So, yay. yay. What, what, were, what were you thinking about? Cool. I was gonna make it so no warp enemies can get within fifty meters of me. Oh. Fifty meter holy shit. I think he's fifty, hold on. I say You're that. kidding, oh man. They have to fail an opposed willpower test, however. On each. <laughs> uh I'm gonna tell you right now they're probably gonna fail. <laughs> Three <laughs> times my willpower power. bonus in meters. Sorry, so it's fifteen, not fifty. Actually, Actually, no, they might succeed the willpower. 
Oh, they, they'll, they, yeah, they might. They Considering may it's an well opposed speak. willpower, we'd have to roll against each other. But I don't e have to do that anymore since half the enemies are off the map. E is that a one-time thing, or can you just turn that on? Uh, I use a fate point to do it. And it lasts, I think, oh. one combat. Oh, I see. So. Okay, so you do it when you're uh, surrounded. Got it. Yeah, yeah. See, even when you guys get surrounded, you blow them away. No, I don't think you blow them away. I think you're just they, they can't move towards the battle system. Oh, that's, that's annoying. I think I think that's how it works. It's similar to fear oh. in D and D, I guess. I'll move over here, and then Next I'll uh, dual shot this guy in the back. Go for it. You get a plus 10 as well. Plus they're within weapons range, so 30. I think that hits. I think that more than hits. <laughs> yeah, they're dead. It's dead. <laughs> it's super dead. I don't want to be a party ability. pooper. I don't think penetration stacks. But maybe it does stack. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. This, this is a special ability I have. It merges specifically for these weapons. It merges the penetration on them. Ah, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Very nice. Otherwise, it would just normally be the 10 penetration. That's very cool. Your mom got penetrated Blue last night. Dope. <laughs> God damn it. Dang it, Tess. <laughs> Dang it, Tess. <laughs> I would hate to see the un unholy mother that spawned these ugly pieces of shit. <laughs> Slanesh, probably. <laughs> oh, cool. Uh, I found the errata. Psychic powers that deal damage can benefit from Righteous Fury. Also, the additional roll can never generate a peril. What? Oh, oh shit. I'm sure you like that. Damn. That's yeah. awesome. The roll to confirm a Righteous Fury does not generate Psychic Phenomenon on Pearls of the Warp. Holy and shit. any damaging Warp uh, Psychic Power can Righteous Fury. I have to okay. admit, that's kind of lame. Because, like, you want you want all the crazy shit to happen because losing is fun. Well, if you keep Think losing, losing it... <laughs> <laughs> As much as I like rolling on the table of crazy stuff, crazy stuff can kill me, and I don't like dying. Yeah. Well, uh, Ancy is certainly like dying for the Emperor. I mean, if it makes sense for the game and the story in the moment, then yes. Yeah. Yep. In that moment, it made perfect sense. Yeah. At least to me. It's I didn't story. particularly want to kill him, but in that moment, that's what he would have done. And that is why you are a good role player. Yes. Uh, it's the enemy's turn, by the way, Boko. Hmm? Hey. It's gonna come up to you, and it is going to attack you. So if we see them as, like, metal, does that mean the metal is just moving? Kind of, yeah. sort of. Uh, yeah, sticking so, to the ground, sticking to the ground, coming at you and whipping at you. So, so much full of that do. And the and the and the technicals are just just metal looking things. You see, you see metal tentacles, blood, guts, eyeballs, all sorts of grotesque stuff on it. Oh, that's horrifying. Also, yeah. uh, Nurgle can corrupt um, the machine code of uh, machines. Yes. Uh, basically turning them into demonic entities. Yeah. Ooh. So, there is a precedence for machines becoming uh, evil and warp entities. Yeah. Although this seems different from Nurgle Taints. They could yeah, be I will use else. a fate point to reroll that. Very. Hey, sure. <laughs> I think you're waiting for the damage, huh? Yeah. Okay. okay I saw see. that. Cool. The other monster is going to fire. Actually, he will not fire. It'll be shooting itself. 
Uh, it's gonna come up. It's shooting itself. Good. Good. You Carl, stop you hitting yourself. Hit. And it's gonna deal. It right, deals it. nothing because he blocked it. Oh, he did. Nice. Can you, can you parry indefinitely? I can parry twice. If I have a talent, okay. uh, what is it? Um, Stalwart defense. I can parry definitely. Any successful attack. So yeah. Sweet. Oh, mine's called Wall of Steel. Oh, so I parried the platypus. Wall, Wall of Steel is uh, yes. To make it go. To do it twice. The apothecary is uh, near us, right? Yeah, with she's, us? She's oh, yeah. right there. Yeah, she can heal you. I think, I think I'll just take the time to to heal. <clears throat> um, uh, Moth, it's still in your control. You want to hit the heal buttons on her. What's your toughness bonus? Say again? What's your toughness bonus? Toughness, toughness. 49 times 3. So that's going to be 12. Uh, so you think you're lightly damaged. Is that right, Moth? Is it like... Uh, uh... Yeah, because he's like 8. Yeah, so... There you go. Uh, didn't the Apothecary, like... Wasn't it impossible for them to fill a heal roll? Heal roll? Yes. Okay, so... He just heals you then. Which, if I remember right, it's four, four, and then an extra two. So you you heal ten wounds. What? What? How? What? <laughs> okay, four because he's lightly wounded. Four because she has that thing on her arm, and two because it's degree of success. I was really... healing wrong on the apothecary before. Oh, we're op as hell. Oh, Space that, Marines. That, that completely heals me. Yup. <laughs> Slaps um, a bandage on it, says, get back in there. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> then that, is that a full action of uh, healing stuff like this? Yeah. Okay. I end my turn then. Neil Tyron, go. All right. Uh... I'm going to turn around and I'm going to take out my Stardust Bolter with Fire Selector and uh, I'm going to load a magazine of Psy Cannon Bolts. So I'm okay. down to 15 mags on that. And I'm gonna. What do those, those do? I think those do like extra damage to warp entities, right? They uh, double all their road damage against target of the side rating demons and other warp entities. So these things we're I... fighting are warp entities, right, Boko? That's correct. Yep. Okay. Warp entities. Damage inflicted by second and bolts is classed as holy and ignores any physically or warp generated armor or protective field, oh, such wow. as demonic resilience, oh. telekinetic uh -huh. shield. Okay. So has zero armor against those bullets. Got it. You're gonna go right through it like butter. All right. Let's see. Modifier on the two hit roll. I think it's gonna be. I'm gonna full auto. So plus I think 20. that's plus. Okay. You are firing the melee, so be careful. So minus yeah, twenty on firing. that. Yeah. So yeah. minus, plus 20 20 minus melee, 20. plus twenty for full auto. You're definitely within half range, so another plus ten, uh, and you can give a get a plus ten for uh, your one time bonus. So uh, I'll do forty total for that, right? Does it sound right? Yep. Okay. Is that yep. minus twenty for shooting in the melee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're getting plus sixty, minus twenty. Well, full auto and uh, full auto half range. Full auto half range, yep. And plus 10 is 40, so it's then minus 20. Yeah, so it should be a total of plus 20 on the roll. Okay, I'll do that then. Plus 20. Bada bing, bada boom. Hit it. All right. Yes. Pow, pow, pow. And let's see. Need, need damage. 
It's gonna be doubled after, yeah. It's gonna be doubled. Yeah, oh, so it's, man. it's 42 damage. <laughs> oh. It does. Well, and that's it, just the first bullet. To... That is just, just the, the first, first bullet. bullet. Damn, you're so right. How much? 30. That does 42 damage? Yeah. 42, 42 damage on the first bullet. And then I think there's a second one, right? Yeah. Because you it's got dead. one degree success. It's, and it's it has Roger Theory. It, he's dead as shit. It's dead. I'm going to conserve ammo. <laughs> All right. Just two bullets then. Pop out. Actually, it's if it's full then. auto and righteous fury, can I can I hit the thing next to it too or no? Yeah. Okay. So I did for uh, Mingus a uh, all lot. All right. Well, he's got the so, heavy bolter. The I've got just a regular bolter. Yeah, yeah the first two shots auto. that I was used to kill the first guy, so. Okay, so Righteous Fury means okay. another um, damage roll. Yeah. Yep. A hit roll, because this is, these are not Xenos. Oh, yeah, are, yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, do that's actually right. have to. You get the same bonus as you did before. Uh, so you'd make the, the roll with the same bonus. So plus 20? Yep. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, I hit the shit out of them. But it's still just it only counts as a single hit, though. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, so that's 38 so, damage. So, uh... So, uh I roll, roll damage again. We'll, we'll calculate the damage. No, I, I, I did roll my damage. It was a 19, and uh, it's going to be 38. Uh, I'm aware. Roll, yeah, roll again, though. Want me to do it again? You, okay. You got, yeah, you did it out of order, so... Okay. There we go. Ah. Hey, look, it's Righteous, righteous Fury. fury. <laughs> also, don't forget the uh, the whole tearing property on uh, Bolters, so you uh, get to uh, face the lowest dive with... But... Of a D10 roll. Do they retain yeah, that's the true. Second is it the weapon thing or is it an ammo thing? The bolter itself has tearing. Great. So okay. I'll do another two hit for Righteous Fury. Okay. And then. Yeah, it's the last bit of damage. Dead. So, yeah, it, it's pretty dead. That's and that's before I'm swapping out stuff. Yeah, that's in you the just went, ta -ta, ta -ta. you took it out pretty quick. So I'd say that ammo is effective. Yeah, the ammo, uh, the, the ammo passes through the uh, thing, going right through its armor, creates cavitation inside, which uh, makes it go into shock and die. Boom. Oh, yeah. Tentacle thing from the ground? Yeah. Yeah. Totally goes into shock. Oh my god, a bit shot! Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. <laughs> okay. You know, you could think of this. You could think Moss character. He requisitioned it. Yes. Thanks, he, Moss he, character. He, 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 Thank he, you, he Moss character. He specifically requisitioned it from the the the, the uh, Inquisitor. And I have yep. I still have twenty four out of. We got. I still have twenty four out of twenty eight bullets in that one magazine. I got fifteen more where that came from. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot. Yeah. All right. Well, if you full autoed, then you uh, a couple of those bullets probably missed. Yeah. Yeah. True. So I'm gonna. Yeah, I'll just knock it down to like twenty. Let's say. Fire more well, bolts. no, because uh, the yeah, regular bolter is what uh, four at full auto. Yes, so I did. So he would fire two shots of four. That would have been eight. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Two thousand rounds of depleted. No, 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 no. Uh, six. Yeah, it would have been six bullets. Ah, right. uh, whatever. I'm not gonna munch in that. I'll say I spent eight, not six. I'm not munching anything. You're just doing it exactly by how the rules are meant. We're oh, munching. Okay. Combat's over. Oh, you guys know. All right. Sweet. All righty, Neil. Lead us to where they are. <clears throat> 
Yes, at once, brothers. Follow me. Navigation, if you want to find out where you're going. Uh, navigation again? Okay. Yeah, you always, yeah, yeah, you know it was just around the corner, though. That is true. Yep. You know this. this I know direction. that. Yeah, so I can do navigation again. We get more info. Yeah, we. Yeah, when you get to a point where you need that more navigation. And, and while so we're making this turn right thing. here. Oh wow, that plus ten saved my ass. While we're making this turn right here, I ask uh, the librarian to see how many, to do another check on how many of those entities are there on this ship. <clears throat> if possible. Uh, okay. I think to do for the entire ship, I'd have to drop my power to focus on it. Yep. You can All do right. that if you want to. It'd take about 10 minutes to do it if you want to do that. Okay. okay. Go ahead and roll your shot. It'll take a... Uh, it'll take a moment for me to, uh... Properly assess the ship. Uh, well, if you're, how long will it take? Ten minutes. <clears throat> Equivalent. Ten minutes. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's Everyone. Get into a better position first. Let's get into about the better, better position. Once we're in a better position, uh, we'll do it, and we'll take positions to defend you. Very well. Yeah, go ahead, and give me three rolls. Of your size science, and I can tell you what, if what you discover. Sweet. Um, any bonuses on that? Plus twenty, since you guys encountered them firsthand. You you could investigate more of it if you want to, on the ground. And give yourself another plus ten. Take your time to do that. Be additional minute or so. Not quite sure. You're getting a little more sure. Okay. The answer to your question is one entity. And these are extensions of that entity aboard the ship. With uh, five degrees of success with prescience for the skill description, I would know, I think, basically direct uh, exactly where its position is. Uh, all around you. It is the ship. The whole the whole ship is the entity. Okay. Um, so so those are ex those things you're fighting was the extension of it. Yeah. About those scuttling charges. Uh, <clears throat> squad leader, we are inside of the warp entity. Can you explain a little bit more? The oh vessel God, itself is the entity. So the things we're words. shooting are merely psychic manifestations of this greater being. So this ship is not, no longer salvageable. Correct. I say we blow it with scuttling charges after we rescue the survivors. Assuming there are survivors. So about those fuel refineries. <laughs> about that. Perhaps we Neil, should siphon please. some of the fuel first to save it. Before, before we do anything, are those signatures, those... Second, those nine psychic signatures still exist. Well, there were no nine psychic signatures. No, there were no were nine living signatures. Yeah, nine so that, living. Yeah, I'm, uh, those things were picked up on the uh, on the uh, tracking thing that I was using, the Auspex, uh, Auspex scanner. scanner. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I think it's worth a little rest to get them. If check to check them out. <clears throat> I agree, uh, once, brothers. I'm going to set my uh, power back up while we're doing this. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. Let's, let's, let's find those uh, people. And then uh, scuttle the ship. <clears throat> Uh-oh. You hear that over the radio? Kill team! Here's the radio. Neil, can you triangulate that signal? I can try. Uh, I'm going to 
roll tech use to see if I can figure out where that uh, signal is coming from, Boko. So what's the modifier on that? Uh, I'm, I'm using my mind impulse unit as well. If that okay. has any effect. Uh, plus 20. Okay. Plus 20. Oh, it yeah. gives you plus 20 in the resources. It gives you plus 20 to tech use tests. Yeah, but the GM has spoken. It's plus, right. plus 20 now. All right. Uh, generally come this direction. Yeah, I'm going to mm -hmm. zoom way out. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do a... Is that also the loca general location of those... Uh... People. I drew a circle, but it's still blacked out. But it's like yeah, because it's in the shadows. Yeah. 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 I'm just I'm. Brothers, uh, the uh, intel. It's up to you if you remember or not. That signal from our dear captain is coming from this direction. It's quite some distance away, so it'll be difficult. We'll have to fight through to get there. Come doing, in, uh, come marine? in, Captain. Come in, Captain Malachius. We're we're hearing you, but there's static. What is that again? Possibility shield. It's the plus ten bonus per roll. Oh, gotcha, thing. gotcha. Uh, it's on everyone. But the Black Shield, because I can only give it to three other people. And the Black Shield tends to run out of range pretty quick. Gotcha. I don't mean to be the naysayer of the group here, but didn't you guys say something similar happened with your radios when you were down on the planet? How are we sure that's your captain speaking to us right now? I hear you, kill team. Warp taking over. Need evac. You might you have a point, but this, this. Uh... So, like, ladies, what are we doing again? Oh, I was just uh, re re upping my app because I had to drop it to do that whole uh, science guidance. Oh, okay, got yeah. it, got it. Squad leader, counterpoint to that is last time Captain Malaka spoke. He was. He had no uh, ill intentions, I guess. Would be the best word to say. So yeah, no ill intentions. Yeah, because when uh, we were, it was the other voice that was speaking yeah, to us. Yeah, when we were down voice, on the, so. it could be <clears throat> trickery. It could be something from the warp posing as Captain Malachius. But when we talked to him on the planet, he seemed to be making sense, uh, and it, it's the same. I think it's the same situation here as well. In either case, I should be able to determine if he, it's, if he is tainted or not. Once we uh, see him? Correct. All right. We should make Let's... haste, brothers, and find him. Hopefully he'll still be in one piece by the time we get there. Yeah, let's uh, radio him that we're on our way, and then... Just keep your radio receiving signals only. We don't want to uh, expose our exp uh, position any more than we are. <laughs> Captain Malachius, we've we've triangulated your radio signal and we'll be headed to you shortly. We may have to fight through. Silence? You what? Didn't he just say radio silence? Who do? I said. I said. No, I, I, I said. Send a message. I said send a message and then oh, okay. uh, radio. Up, then make oh, yeah. a radio silence. Okay. Yes, Captain Malachius, we we've triangulated your position, and we're on our way. But there may be resistance between us, so hang in there. We'll do everything we can to help you, brother. Sir. I tense up and proceed mm -hmm. yep. All right. What's on? No. Oh. 
which way should we go? Both paths are viable. Us. Well, we should lead back. Uh, we should go to the captain as soon as possible. Yes, mm -hmm. the captain was southeast of here. We ha do we have a schematic, or at least we should know the layout pretty well, so... <clears throat> well, our tech marine has a cartograph. Yeah, so... All of you guys hear that, by the way. Mm-hmm. I would like to make a navigation roll to see if it's best to go uh, east or south. Fear not the voice, brother, for it trembles in fear. <laughs> Alright, I navigated the shit out of that. Brothers, I believe we should head south. No, it's to the right. Or is it Just to the right? Straight. 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 Okay. Let's head straight. Well, it is dark. That's why you guys are having difficulty navigating through. That's why he's doing navigation checks. Right. So. But we also kind of know the, supposed to know the layout since we were on yeah. the Warbars before. Sort of. Sort of. For a short time. Warbars was a huge right. ship. But this was also a warp entity. Oh, Jesus. Maybe don't mm -hmm. go in that room. Yeah, this pillar below us. I'm gonna roll yeah. for awareness. <laughs> this pillar below us doesn't block the site, by the way. Like this thing where I'm standing. Yeah, this thing. But, yeah. I do not see those um, bugs. Actually, you forgot to do plus twenty two, so you do see him. Oh. Okay, so I'm just going. And don't forget. I mean, you guys um, Y'all can add plus 10, you know, onto these awareness checks as we're going along, too. Yeah, so yeah because of, uh, Well, everyone except the Black Shield, because... I can't affect mm -hmm. everyone around me. It's okay, I'm used to it. <laughs> well... So we get to... I work alone. <laughs> you, you, run we... off. you tend to run off we... pretty quick out of my range, so that's why I didn't give to you specifically. Where do we need to go next? So I say we continue moving forward. Let's not waste our time trying to kill every Xeno. It's not our mission. Yeah, this Besides, that's not going to help us. Huge. Yeah. It'll only slow us down. We need to focus on the objective. Alright, I'm going to do another awareness check for these guys. Just, just keep going forward. Keep going I just forward. go past it. <laughs> I also spotted just so that I'm aware. Alright, Neil. Which way? Where, where to next? Allow me to defer I see you my cartograph. Oh, I'm aware. <laughs> do, do, do. Surface. Okay. Cool. Uh, I guess let me make a quick sentience roll since uh, we're about to be blocked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll do another <laughs> awareness check. My, my standard plus 20 to this, yeah? Yep. <laughs> the box is boxing us in. Alright. Brothers, they surrounded us. <clears throat> yep. Brothers, they've surrounded us. God, my, I don't know where I'm going with this accent. Combat positions. This, voice. this is going to be a hell to keep up for multiple sessions, I presume. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. It, but I'm going to stick with it. Good I will luck. kill my voice for the game. <laughs> <laughs> Dedicated. So, you want to navigate? I mean, they're not attacking wherever. The, you just see those, those piles on the ground in the corridors. You guys going to attack them, trying to move on, or... Uh, yeah, where I mean, was the navigation? Where was the navigation thing? Should still be straight one. forward. Straight the, forward? Oh, no. down. To the east. South. South. Okay. We're going we go south. South? south? <clears throat> oh, okay. We're going south, then. Well, I did, I did awareness, and I can see those guys. Those enemies. I can also see them. Hold, hold position right here. 
Let's make a decision right here uh, to see what Roger. we want to do. That is not. Uh, they're on the walls them. too. Do we? Okay. Are those supposed to be? Okay, fine. Whatever. Yep. They're in the walls. Well, they're not spiders, like the icon indicates. It's 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 the ship basically coming out with metal, uh, gore, guck, and whatever, and hmm. attacking you guys. It, it's, hmm. it's coming from the ship itself. So the whole ship. So the, yeah, as I said, we are inside the the entity. Right? Yeah, I got that. I got that. Yeah, I'm just. I gave you a token representation of killing, whatever that thing is. They have something to fight. Th think of tensions of the ship. Like yeah. you're fighting the power cord, you're fighting uh, uh, wire, rifles, whatever. Depth. So every weapon, every grenade, every soldier, everything is what you're fighting. So we okay. get a decision. Librarian, do you think we can take these guys? <clears throat> Just fall on? Because they might, looks like they're going to surround us pretty easily here. Um, the the thing sticking out of the walls, it's just like tentacles and crap sticking out of the walls, not like the full formed entities. But they can still come out and get get you. I I, I know. I'm I'm asking Thomas though. Uh, yep, yeah, that's what yeah. it is. That's your okay. thing. Okay, but the ones in front like of us. Out of the wall. <clears throat> but like, are they fully forming into full entities, or is it just stuff that if we walk near the wall, it'll swipe at us? So it's just more like environmental dangers as opposed to an actual entity. Well, well, if you engage the wall, they will fully form and attack you like the other ones. Uh, same okay. thing the ground ones. So right. what you're saying is so, we can run right past them as long as we're not like too close to the wall, right? Yeah. Yeah, if you don't stay uh, stay away from the wall, stay away from the walls. Uh, we may have to we have the lens on the ground because we have to walk directly over those. We have to shoot these the, the ones on the ground right here in front of us. Yeah, I, I, su yeah. I suggest that we you load the side cannon rounds and use your heavy bullet. Yeah, but otherwise stay away from the walls. Dominego, take point. I I use the heavy bolter with psycho rounds against these four round entities. You can move in for half range if need be. I think that's already half a half range. Yeah. It yeah. Is. For uh for a heavy bolter, it's heavy bolter is one fifty. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's at half range, and yep. uh, don't forget to add your plus ten for uh, being near me. You can also aim. You can take plus twenty. And you can aim. Yeah. Plus twenty to aim. Plus ten for uh half range. Plus ten for uh, my my fun assist. Plus twenty for full auto. Yeah, so I have plus, plus, plus forty. I also okay, have plus, plus, plus twenty. Yeah, that's yeah. plus sixty. So sixty in total. Well, plus whatever native bonuses you also have. Right. <clears throat> Which should be plus forty. So, so plus hundred. So plus a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, look God. at that. Ten bullets hit. Thomas, all right, Boca, do you just want to remove them from the board so we don't roll the time? <laughs> what, the floor? Yeah. Yeah. From the floor. All right, how many? How much damage can he deal out? Well, they're also using damage. damage so. These are the same rounds uh, that I used on my last turn. Yeah, I'm using psychic yeah, rounds they're for these. Dead. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah, go ahead and use your full thing. Oh, Display the hit damage. What? No, I mean, no, 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 not display it, but whatever your ammunition you use whatever for full bullets attack. Whatever you use, take yeah. and subtract that. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So that's. Yeah, that's I'm just kind of cat. Yeah, I use ten rounds there then. Yep. All right, the path is clear. Let's move on. Your voice is slowly getting like mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's contagious. <laughs> Next time I'll try to introduce the soundboard because I tried ripping some uh, Space Marine quotes, so I'll be using that next time. Careful, Are brothers. These two for me? Single file line. I'll be the. Yep, you, just, I guess. you just see tentacles coming out of the walls. 
Just go. Just go. Yeah. I'm gonna do another navigation check here. I'll make another awareness check. Yeah, I see that thing on the right. They're forming into full entities, are they? Aren't they? Oh, you'll find out. Mm. Do we need to go more south? All right, so I passed my navigation check. So we're still looking okay. for okay. Captain Malachius. Yeah, we're still going oh, south. Yeah. Alright. South, brothers. Quickly, before these tentacles grab us. Do another navigation another check. check. Oh man, well, that I'm is a success. <laughs> <laughs> and do remember, you also get a plus ten for, for my thing. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. I haven't been doing that. Finished. Yeah, you can do it for every roll for every round. So continue south, brothers. And back west again. Is that where the thing is? Whoa. Yeah, that's where uh, we've been pinging at. Alrighty. Captain Malachius' his last known position was right here. <coughs> Let's use your scanner to see where he is. Alright. This can be a tech use. I'm going to scan for Captain Melanchius, plus 20, which is going to be another plus 10 for plus 30 because of uh, Yo Mug's thing, and here we go. Okay. Holy crap, that's a high roll too. Yeah, yeah, my tech use is really good. No, 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 I'm saying the negative roll is 92. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but... <clears throat> counterbalance that because of how yeah. good my tech use stat is. So do we see the Captain Malekis' signature? Life signature anywhere? Or yeah, any life signature? I it. No, right. it's, still, it's still to our oh. right. Yep. Oh, still to the left? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's keep moving, brothers. I'm starting to get an eerie feeling that this is crap. It's a oh. trap. This whole ship is a trap. So don't worry about it. Contact hey, front. Hey, I see not other things. Librarian, are those real? Uh, are those humans? <clears throat> oh, it's barricades, so we would not yeah, see it. Well, those barricades were just moving by themselves, so no. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. Uh, what you see is a well barricaded door. Uh, you see, gar you see guardsmen just at that door, aiming the rifles down there. Uh, you're scanning to see if they're actually human. I scan to see. Uh, my awareness check is to see if they're human or not. And yeah, they're quick, human. Uh, oh, okay, never mind. They're human. All right. Well, I mean, he can see they're human, but you, you can do a side thing, right, to see His if they're actually tell human. They're human. human. Right. Does the so machinery do tell us they're human? Uh, do I get any bonus on my science science for this? Plus 20. Okay. So does the auspex scanner... I will fate roll this one. <laughs> yeah, good idea. <laughs> then 
There we go. You guys Are see these... a couple rounds. Yeah, you see a couple rounds buzz by your head. What? Well, they, they did say hold who goes there. We didn't answer. Well, Guardsmen, right. hold fire. It's us, the de the Death Watch. Can I, does uh, my thing determine that it's uh, that they are in fact human? We're the Death Watch squad yeah. who has come to save cool. you. Yeah, they're human. Yeah, and all that some psychers protecting them as well, so they're not untainted. Cool. Oh, I can good. confirm they are human and they are being protected from this entity. Excellent. Oh, who goes there? <laughs> who is that? <laughs> <laughs> we are the Death Watch. We're here to rescue you. The Death Watch? What's the Death Watch? Death Marines. Death Marines? Right. You're Death still Marines alive? That's Marines. amazing! <laughs> we are the Death Watch. We watch for death. <laughs> <laughs> we are the Death Watch. We watch for death. Well, that is true. I, I guess I shouldn't be surprised too much, then. <laughs> you can surprise all you want. I, I wouldn't where expect is, anything more. Where is Captain Malachius? What's the password? We can shoot you to pass. <laughs> Inquisition <laughs> is the password. Inquisition and I hold up my uh, symbol. Your in your Inquisition symbol, yeah. Yes. <coughs> mm -hmm. I, I see. <laughs> Step aside, wimps. I can get someone over here to verify that that password was Do indeed that. the correct one. <laughs> Which password is that? <laughs> oh, it's Thor! Like I'm glad you've arrived. <laughs> Marvel Cinematic Universe is truly on our side. So, was the password, uh, I am the Inquisition, <laughs> correct? <laughs> I thought it was password one, two, three, four. Or, if that one wasn't it, was it, they can shoot us? The password is zero, four, five, one. They gave us two passwords. I don't think that was a part of the rule set that you established for me when asking people approaching if that was correct or not. <laughs> oh, I see you recognize them. I'll shut up now. <laughs> Brisora, I see you made it. Good to see you're still alive, Inquisitor. <clears throat> I guess Dan is voicing the Inquisitor now, which is good. I'll try. I live for the Emperor. While well, this conversation is happening, I look behind us to uh, Overwatch. Inquisitor, thank the Emperor, you're safe. I frantically shake, shake my hand <laughs> to let the team in, I guess. He nods. <laughs> it's not frantic. It's not frantic. He's very, very stoic, calm. He just waves you in. Like, what? Just come on in. I like um, my competition better. I use my... Yes. Oh, God! Yeah. Uh, he's a very stoic character. He's very stoic, very calculated and cold. So he fits right in with the rest of the squad. Get the rest, yep. mm -hmm. Once I film in that protective barrier from that other psychic, I will drop the possibility shield. Is that just uses your energy up when you use it consistently? No, I can just now use my full action to do things instead of a oh, okay. action every single round. Uh, I can sustain it indefinitely as long as I'm conscious, and I spend at least one half action to sustain it. Brisora, thank the Emperor you came. 
I feared I was not going to be able to complete this one. I ordered the detonation of the war barge, but the entity seemed to have hoarded most of my charges I planted. Yes, it seems to have taken possession of the entire ship at this point. Not entirely. This is a mere shadow of the entity. I discovered, fi I discovered, finally discovered what it was. I have my wording's all backwards. Yeah, yeah. Oh, through my investigation with the Captain Malakius. No, you got, you got to own the, um, you got to own the whole, uh, double Australia. words. I did. I discovered, finally discovered. Yeah. I did. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, my brain wrote that twice. Anyways. <laughs> yes, Boko's written word is the gospel. It is that the is gospel. true. I suppose. Um. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm going to ask, uh, is Captain Malakia safe? We, uh, yeah. we picked him up. We picked him up on, on our, uh, headsets. Vox. In our helmet. Vo vo vocoders. Vox. 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 Aren't you a tech marine? I should know this, <laughs> but I don't. It's like the fourth time, too. <laughs> <laughs> he must need a replacement for his uh, his vocal cords. There's getting a little uh, messed up. It appears to be an entity from the warp that attached itself to the Faustian ship. I had my suspicions, but Nalaki has confirmed my fears. Hmm. Faustian ship. The destroyer. It's a Faustian. Oh, the one that warped away? Yep. Yep. We need to destroy it as to not let it stay and infect the rest of the Imperium. You can leave that me. to us, sir. So I, when that uh, warp entity taining the uh, destroyer is destroyed, will the shadow over this ship be lifted? Yes. So then we don't need to destroy this ship. That's good. How do we cleanse it? Wait, I thought we already established that we do need to destroy the ship that we're currently on. Well, that's, that's why that was that was our initial guess. Yes. Yeah, with that's okay. So. Got it. It turns Fine. out the thing infecting this one's just a shadow of it. The real one's on the falchion ship, the one that left. This is just a mere extension of itself from the Materium. You have any questions, Yelmog, there? Well, I mean, Chaos Gods. Any yeah, presence in the Materium is just the, an extension of itself. 
You're asking if it's a chaos god? No, 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 no. I'm not asking if it's a chaos god. I'm just saying, like, you know, this, this, all this makes sense. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. All sorts of weird demon shit can slip through the Geller field, I guess. Yeah. Well, not really. Well, the Geller field kind of prevents that from happening. Yeah, it prevents that, but if it's damaged... Then, but the yeah. Geller field also isn't operable, or you generally don't operate the Geller field when you're not going through the warp, too. Also true. Oh, but if we operate the Geller field, that means we would separate it from the warp, so it would sever its connection. Hold on. Let me try that again. But if we operate, turn, if we activate the Geller field, it should sever its connection. Uh, before you do that, it's not a demon, Brisora. I confirmed that it's something else. And then you say that. That's the conversation. Yeah, it's a conversation him, uh, between him and Brisora earlier yep. before he got. See. Captain Malakius, is that you? Holy shit, he is huge. <laughs> He's a big boy. Yeah, well, if you notice, all these guardsmen are also bigger than us. <laughs> well, that says something. Scaled them down. Captain, Captain Malakius, thank heavens you're safe. I see the kill team has made it. Yes, we fought we fought through uh horrors of the warp to get here. But mm. it is good to see that you're safe. Horrors of the warp. I didn't realize Lanesh was the play here. <laughs> Wouldn't that be more of a siege territory? No, horrors of the warp. Oh, oh. Because <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> that's what I heard when he said horrors. As if we had uh, us traveled through so many horrors of the warp, I'm like, hmm. Mm. Mm, my hearing's not <laughs> great. I heard a different word. Well, you should take that side. It's the horrors heresy. <laughs> I'm surprised you made it. I'm surprised you made it this far. So far, all our attempts to get near the docks and fuel refineries have proved fruitless. Ah, uh, yes, but... Oh, Captain, my Captain, Malachius. We did find the fuel refinery on our way here. We, uh... We were careful not to destroy it. Although the thought did cross our minds. I would have hoped you would have destroyed it. Well, yes, would you be but here wouldn't, now? But wouldn't that have destroyed the entire ship? <clears throat> also, we didn't know that this ship was possessed, uh, was possessed when we when we were at the refinery. This ship is beyond well, saving mean... unless we can kill the warp entity. I mean, uh, quarter of the way in, because the Elmug did his thing and he said we were in an entity. Right, but that's after we uh, cleared the refinery. Yep. Yep. Still thought the ship was, ship was uh, fully salvageable back then. Yep. 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 Yeah, well, once I mean... we knew it was an enemy, we were like, well, maybe we should blow up the thing, but like, well, let's find people first. Yeah, but we were just told by the Inquisitor after we got here that the ship is not the source of this. It's yes. somewhere else. Yes. Yep. yep. Captain Malak is basically still saying that we still should destroy this ship as well because it's tainted. Well, yeah. uh, he's, he's saying it's very difficult to go out the way you came. Easy to come in, hard to go out, basically. Yeah. Hmm. How how thick 
are the is the hull of the of this ship? Can we can we know? Can we determine that from asking the Inquisitor or Captain Malakis or He wouldn't ship? know. He's not, um, he tells you he's not an engineer. Uh, do we have any engineers on board alive? Uh, he looks at his uh, guardsmen, asks them, any of you guys engineers? They all shake their heads. Nope. I see. But wait, didn't we see engineers in the... A might give you that. Okay. Didn't we right. see okay, engineers so... at the refinery? No. Oh. So, my, my, because my thought process at the is... Our medic has a breaching auger. We can essentially ev evacuate all the space marines and everyone who has sealed, like, power <laughs> armor. Mm. It, through that hole we make through the breaching auger if we call for the thunder hole. We don't have to go back to the port. We can just make a big enough hole. I think the breaching auger was more designed for uh, smaller ships, like the Thunderhawks and whatnot. But it can still make a size uh, of a how, hole. How big of a hole does that thing make, Moth? Oh. <laughs> it doesn't say. <laughs> and it's a pretty sizable hole, so if you did want to play drill the drill the wall, we could you could do that. Also, remember he couldn't punch a tree open. <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't was punch a, down a redwood. It was it. pretty pretty big thick. Hole. It was pretty big. It was a thick yeah. boy. But we still have to, we have time. We, we don't have to do it, you know, in one go. We we have time to do that, kind of, sort of. Um. Just make it big enough for a space marine sized. Just make a space marine sized hole, or like a, a hole big enough for a space marine to go through. Though the guardsmen would stay behind since they don't have any. Uh, yeah, they, they would die. Yep. I mean, yeah. at that point, we should shoot them to save them from the being warp tainted. Uh, 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 mm. uh, Boko. Do I know if the Inquisitor is uh, a psyker? Uh, he's not a psyker. But Captain Malachius is. So he's a librarian. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. He's a librarian who couldn't fucking detect the warp presence on his <laughs> own goddamn ship. <laughs> he's Are like, you gonna say that? He's a librarian. Uh... No. <laughs> Saying this to myself. Say again. He's a he's a captain librarian who couldn't detect a nefarious word presence taking over his own damn ship. No. Hmm. Because it was way above his pay grade. He did not sense it. <laughs> way above his pay grade. To be eternally vigilant. This man is committing heresy if that's the case. Jesus Christ. What he can't detect something? I mean. It wasn't on a ship. It was not on the yeah, war bar. You said it was above his pay grade. I'm like, did he ever <laughs> vigilant? No, no, he is ever vigilant. Dude, that's how they discovered it and blew up the ship. Like, I can get, you know, him just not not being able to sense it because it's too bad yeah. or whatever, but the way yep. you said it, it sounded like he was just neglecting his duties. No, 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 no. <laughs> are, we gonna gonna to, are we going to have to put... Are we going to have to put Malachius into a coma and then make him become a servitor just like that no, other guy no <laughs> no he we're was not trying saying to any of this out loud issues. when when did the ship get uh, manifested became uh when did the ship became a warp entity was it the end of the first mission or beginning of the are, second are you, are you it asking? before the first mission because uh, all of our stuff was uh tainted essentially uh, when we landed. So we have Aaron multiple li librarians. We have multiple... Yeah, but they were yeah. like low-level librarians. Captain Blackius is a freaking chapter captain of the Devil. And we asked him to investigate this. Issues that we had on the first mission, and he still couldn't detect it. Mm-hmm. He also wasn't stationed on that, that Faustian class ship, either. Yeah, he was on the barge. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I already talked to Moth. Yeah, uh, I'll probably share that dialogue with you. But he 
had a discussion with Moth's character about this whole whole thing. You guys don't know nothing about it, but I talk about the the warp entity and uh there might be something we're gonna investigate a little further. Because there's always some some things that get attached to ships yeah, here and there when they go through the warp itself. They always have to roll the chance of getting <laughs> attacked by demons, so <laughs> Isn't there a standard procedure to double check yeah. the ship's hold? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. There's also a chance, again, they might be ra might never ever exit the warp. That has also happened. Uh, yeah. Okay. Or they go somewhere completely different. <laughs> or back in time. Or whatever the fuck happens, right? Especially if Zinch is involved. Yeah. Uh, you think it's a good stopping point here? Uh, yeah, yeah good... I think so. I think this is a good stop. Well, that was, uh, that was fun. Damn. That was a lot of, uh, a lot to think about. Mm -hmm. Well, that solved a lot of questions I had. Yeah. Sure. But uh, remember, the, the Emperor protects. Yeah, the librarian would kind of give it all away because he would just tell you, yeah, it's this. Yeah, it's that. So, Yelma being a librarian is actually perfect. You guys had no librarians, so you guys were like, you had no protection from that nonsense. L plus right. ratio plus no librarian plus warp. <laughs> plus n above my pay grade plus get good. <laughs> <laughs> Although, uh, I'm going to say now, if I die again, I'm coming back as an idiot guardsman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That was great. You had a lot of fun with that, huh? See you in a few sessions, then. <laughs> you guys ready to fight your way out of this thing? Hell yeah, we'll it's going to be fun. In the next episode. We'll see. I'll just summon a demon prince and let him uh, run amok or something. It'll be fine. Oh, Jesus. Just, just let the demon prince fight the other warp entity. Yeah. Basically. I mean, I mean that's viable. That is viable. <laughs> Find out next time he, on Death Watch War of the Imperium. He... Yep. The only downside is, is he would prioritize killing me over the other warp entity. So I just have to make sure I'm behind the other warp entity at all times. No, 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 no. So, well, see, I can, I can tackle you with my jetpack. I can, like, mit, mit, like wow. I can, yeah, I can just get you out of there. Nice. There we go. There we go. We've got a plan for next time. <laughs> How do we get <laughs> It'll be great. <laughs> no, it's summoning demons and shit. Man, why'd you take chaotic points for that? No, nah, we're just becoming rogue inquisitors. It's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're allowed to commit heresy in the name of the emperor. Yeah, really. So long as no other inquisitors find out, then at that point they're horrible uh, heretics who need to die. But yeah, yeah, radical heretics inquisitors are radical for a reason. Yep. Yep. They still do things for the emperor, but they do them in the worst possible way. So you do the wrong the things for the right reasons. Yeah, sometimes it's the only way. Yeah. But it's still the worst way. Yeah, yeah but if it's um, the only way, then it's not just the worst way, it's also the best way. Yeah. How much That's not how get? any Inquisitor looks at it. <laughs> much experience? Eight hundred. Say it? 800. 800. Whoa. 800, Ooh. holy shit. 800 XP. That's pretty good. And we can spend all of that. Uh, yeah. Next, next session. Time. Yep. All right. Before the next... All... Yeah, yeah. Before the next session. Oh, oh before we can the next session. Nice. Oh shit. Not bad. Yeah. That's I said awesome. after the session you can spend it. Great. So you said it's gonna be a thirty minutes setup. Like, yeah, no, we'll just do it after. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Well, that was uh, that was fun. I will see all you guys next week. See you next week. See you next week. All right. Oh, we're ranked three now. Yeah, we're ranked three. Oh, uh, well, that when you spend your XP, you'll get up to rank three with this. Oh, I need to spend awesome. one more. 
one thousand three is twenty one thousand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Spent a thousand more to get that. Oh god, my options have just opened up. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> And you answered a lot of questions for the team because they had no idea what was going on. I was like, well, I mean, your character would just get all that just by investigating. Uh, warp shit. Yeah, it's warp shit. shit and I know exactly what it is. Yeah, you answered a lot of my questions. Like, okay, what's going on here? Like, mm -hmm. you, you provided a lot of information while we're going into this, and that's awesome. Yeah. Yay, I can raise my sight rating again. I will be a god. Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh man! I thought, yeah, you guys killed this thing pretty pretty easily. Like, man, I'm gonna have to challenge you guys a little bit to get something a little higher next time. Did you say that last time too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm testing your guys' limits here. I'm, I'm trying to push it just enough not to kill you, but uh, enough to put you in danger. So. I'm in danger. Should... Well, right. we can we can deal with small groups, but not big groups. So you know they're not particularly. Uh, Easy to fight. Right. I'm trying to make it a uh, balance where it's fun because you guys wouldn't like it if I had big beefy boys. He had a slog through. So, yeah. the, the ki I, li I like the killing rate. That's fine. It's just they need to hit you more because like, oh, I got hit. Oh, gee, I, what's this? Bro, what's the procedure for getting hit? <laughs> yeah. Well, we we dodge your like parry, but like. I don't know. I feel like, like maybe me. they should attack us more often, and then... They do. There's, they, they attack you. We do. It's just... Okay. They've you been attacking them. us a lot of times. It's just this, that we either dodged their attacks or we got them before they even hit us. Yeah. yeah. Now, we did burn through a lot of uh, faith, though, to make sure we dodged those attacks. Yeah, it is true. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> nice. Well, besides, we get the fate points uh, every session, too. So. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> Yeah, help you on your way out. You have to fight the hallway yeah. of shit now. Yeah, that'll be fun. I think my heavy bolter and psychic rounds will help. I think they will. I still have 390 rounds. We should be fine. <laughs> yeah. I got 120 on me. No, I got I got 240 on me. So what, was the map decently big for y'all? Felt like a Space Hulk? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Sweet. This definitely feels like a war barge. <clears throat> or at least a section of it. It's a section of it. Yeah. The only section you can land on safely. And where the signal is coming from. Now you know, it's a, it's a team of nine nine guardsmen and uh, the Inquisitor and Malachi is holed up in, in a corner of the area, bunkered down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Right. Obviously, they, they told you their plan failed. They tried to destroy the war barge altogether, but failed. Yeah, well, that might be a good action. thing because they'd be dead otherwise, and we'd have no mission be stranded on that work planet. You know, well, for a, them, for them, a destroying mission. a warp entity is better than living because you know, like a whole warp tainted ship is, is yeah something. It's not something to scoff at. Yeah, it's true. Alright, well, I think I'm going to kill the recording here, and I'll see you guys next week. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, so. Alrighty, see ya. Alright, catch y'all later.